All right, here we are. We're here. Next episode. He's ready to roll already. Yeah, he, ready to roll. He's home. like, he's like half a page. Boom, we're out of here early. Peace. I'm like, no, this is all going to depend on the second half, which, which is I'm not in charge of the vital information. Yeah, it's like some. We'll make it happen. It always does. All right. So introductions around as always. I'm Jimmy. Yeah, buddy. The dude with the man bun. Yeah, I don't even know what. The Did hell Nolan was Ryan wear a man bun? Tokyo. Who? Oh, Nolan Ryan? Did he right wear him? Right he didn't even have hair. <laughs> Problematic. <laughs> and then he got D-Mags as always. And then he got... He had that... What do you call that bald spot? Was just like... He got gladiator skin. Yeah, I, I, like, I call it a skullet. Skullet. Uh, that's what I like to call yeah. that. You should try that. But he did mess him up. <laughs> it's just started off. Yeah. Ready to go. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> We're shooting on all oh, cylinders. Man. All right. Pop, pop. So we had no releases... Last week. Yeah. No was, new releases. It was a giant bag of... Silent night. So, um, we have nothing to recap as far as what released last week, but we do have some releases to look forward to, hopefully. We're going to make it happen. We'll make it happen. Um, so, we got... The one I'm excited about is there was a new release through TriStar. We're getting two cases of the new... Game day greats, hidden treasures, jersey autographs. What's a checklist look like? Is it a it's deep? It's vets it's and deep. Hall it's of Famers. Five boxes as usual to a case. It's one Hall of Famer. It is two fan favorites and two greats. No college. You can get college, yeah. Okay. <sighs> yeah, that's that. I mean, but you look right. If you look up at the jerseys, a I've got Manziel. Manzel really, in the college, and that's been about it. Yeah, I was gonna say I, don't, I can't. So remember college really. is not well. We, Jerry Judy, that was a college one. Okay, didn't I, I sold that bad boy? Didn't we have a, a Herbert? No, we no, that was no. that was, was that's the, the college thing. helmet. Yeah, we didn't we didn't get the um. I I sold the powder blue. Yeah, and that lock or something else, right? Well, uh, it wasn't from the, it's it's yeah. I did. I was purchased. Separate. It's out of sight though, but um. That uh, big hit you had the other night, where you were doing Riffy. a little jig. No, I'm, I'm oh. talking about oh your bat, Tadis. Score. I don't know if I'm selling this. You know how many times Ryan passed this up? What player would be in here that would just absolutely devastate him and MLB police? Tatis. Yes. It is Fernando Tatis Jr. Beckett Authenticated Rawlings Bat. Yeah, you were. Did you see the Tatis Bat? Did I you, mean, did you pay homage to it? You, I spilled a drink on it. I had to clean it. You, you always, mother. you always comment on how I look when I'm open in a pack. Your eyes. I, I saw I mean, it. I saw it on the rip. When you when oh, you turned rip, around man. to look at the camera, you, oh man! Did you see it, how many hits we had on TikTok with that? Everything in that no. box was good. We tr we were close to trending. We had almost thirteen thousand views on that video. Really, you the know, part two. That my, box. That box. I mean, had, yeah, you trended. No, I I didn't. That trend, box but I gotta, was that box was legit, dude. Everything came out of that. Yeah, video. no, but that Tatis. That was sick. I got a friend who his mom has cows. Right. Stupid cow walking. Pregnant cow. They recorded a video, something like 300,000 views. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, on a cow. And that's the down. thing. So when TikTok is strange. We did TikTok, and I did the, it wasn't the Tatis bat part, right? It was, what was the, what part did I do that got the 13,000 ish? The mini helmet. I can't hear you. The mini helmet. The she mini said. helmet. The mini helmet. We need to turn your volume up. There you go. Say again? The, the mini helmet. The mini helmet. Jamal, Jamal Lewis? No, that was no. the jersey. No, that was it because I read the yeah it was the Jamal Lewis jersey because I read the the um, card. Oh yeah, it was the first thing we opened. Yeah, you can oh. probably turn her level now. Down. I can turn <laughs> down. Yeah. Jam Jamal Lewis. I know you didn't you didn't seem to be too thrilled. I think that was a good. Where is it? It is MIA. No, it's back here. Okay, we it's, changed it's things unseen. around a little bit on you, so okay. things are a little but bit different in here. I I actually like that. The Jamal Lewis. No, it wasn't bad. I was. You know, it's funny because when I open up a piece like that, I'm automatically thinking to the next box. Was that the Thurman Thurman uh, Thomas box? 
the helmet auto? No. What was the? I thought that was a Buffalo Bill. Helmet no, that was the Donnie that. Shell, the, mm-hmm. the Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steeler, the Pittsburgh yeah. Steeler yeah. The yeah, which is nice. HOF 2020. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the the mem is being added recently to a lot of these Facebook groups. The mem is blowing yeah. up on these Facebook groups. I mean, so, there's there's breaks just solely. We've been hitting, focused around we, that. I've been posting them to the website and eBay, and they've been selling. I've been selling probably two jerseys a week, and probably one mini helmet a week consistently for the last month. Yeah, I mean, it's I I don't That's know. That's why we keep reordering. Stuff I don't know because, where it like maybe because people are trying to get their fix somewhere else. Like, okay, I can't afford. You know, I can't afford the box or this, so I'm going to go the other route. I was expecting, like, because we ordered the two mem boxes. Those were, you know, very expensive, the 10 pieces. We did them back-to-back, never done that before. And I figured we were going to have a a, A lot of carryover. We're going to have a lot of problems finding places for them, but we've sold so much that it's all been blended in. we got a blink spot there. we got to figure out. I would love to know. I guess that was a jersey. It was, yeah. Others who are purchasing those, other shops that are purchasing those, what they're getting out of their boxes. I'm sure. I mean, I mean it'd be so, kind of cool to know just to kind of. Yeah, I mean, their, so far it's know. pretty solid. I mean, the only. And hopefully got, they put some hockey product in there, either play or helmet. Ashton Kutcher's behind you, by the way. He's got that doomy look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do that yesterday. I went like really? that. My, my girls are like, Dad, you, you don't have hair. You're weird. Yeah. It's like, oh. I'm doing it. I can do that hair toss. It's like your, my, Justin your mom Bieber. used to love that. Yeah. They need to put some hockey product hair. in there. Some goalie mask or regular player helmets. Because they have the regular, regular yeah, player helmets. Yeah, I got helmets. the... I and did many. one before, and I got the... I would like to... I mean, the I, would, I think that would be a nice a nice mix. The what? purple Kings jersey. Yeah, yeah no, But no, like no, the helmet. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't do that. No. Even give me like a goalie glove or something like that. That would be cool. Dude, I could have bought a Kraken helmet signed by the GM. <laughs> that's, what, that's the only player they got. That's, that's the only. That's, that's yeah. everything that's 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 down to the GM. Everything or, that Fanatics has to offer is all signed by the GM. Yeah, the that's GM funny. or the manager in charge of ticket sales. Yeah, <laughs> outside sales. The, the head of you know advertising. Like, they don't, got a, they don't got a scout or you know no, anything like that. No. Oh. <laughs> so the cool thing was though, speaking of the Kraken, did you see that they raised the final beam and all the no, all the workers no, signed, signed it. it. And oh, it raised oh, to the rafters to oh, put it up. Cool. Yeah, can so, I get that beam? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sign Just put beam. that in here. Let's lean, lean it up against <laughs> the wall. So I'm going to tell you though, the nice thing is our relationship with Mill Creek. Yeah, going I mean, down there and being able to pick our, especially local pieces, and we they love it when you contact them ahead of time. They hate oh, it when yeah. you spring it on them. Right? Hate it. Hate it. We did that on a Saturday. AKA with Greg. Greg. And they hate, hate it. it that they're getting you your shit. And it's like, here you go, man. Chuck, and I love you. When I got my P Rose, you got to email his ass or he gets upset. <laughs> like they were, it was, they were, it was working out well for me. And Greg comes in and I, I got my Pete Rose autograph ball. And it was like, Oh, ask him for the better one. They have one back. I was like, Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. So they went and they got and me Chuck, a better one. Chuck did in the stink eye. Right. But, so yeah. What, but then he was having a stressful day. What's you Greg's what connection I, to the, so like Greg, why is he the in, so the, in over there? One of the I think, if I remember correctly, Chuck used to own um, the guy that's running Mill Creek now. Yeah, not the, the owner, he's the but he's managing the he's entire the works. Store, yeah. He used to do booze and stuff up here in Mike Bellis Fair. Oh, okay. So when he and, worked at Fred Meyer, right? And yeah. one of the guys that is I don't I don't think he's in ownership, but he's one of the warehouse managers. Mm-hmm. He used to own a shop here in Bellingham. And Greg did some work with him when he had the shop up here. Gotcha. So there's that local connection. Um, Greg always does our autograph authentications yeah. when Beckett comes. Um, and previously, Greg would do any memorabilia buys because we didn't have a relationship with Mill Creek at the yeah. time. And then when I went down there and met Chuck, he's like, dude, have your wife send me your reseller permit and you get everything wholesale yeah but when we went down so we walk in there and we got our seahawk pieces we're getting and i did a couple eight by tens sean camp eight by tens pretty dope yeah but they had a william shatner like 11 by 14 (laughs) like 
It's badass. Just po- hand, pointing the ray gun, and yeah. I'm like, I got to get it. He's 142 space years old. Man. So we so we added that, and then Stacy, we're looking at the cards, and I'm thinking, okay, like I know the mem we get at wholesale, mm-hmm. but I wasn't sure the cards. Yeah. And we're looking through the case, and Casey didn't have, or Stacy didn't have the um, Gardner Minshew stained glass okay. from Mosaic, and they had it in there for 25 bucks. And Stacy goes, I want to get that. All right, let's get it. But then knocked with our account, knocked five bucks off it. So oh, I'm like, oh, we shit. get a discount off Damn. cards too. Well, they had a whole Seahawks section of five and ten dollar cards. I'm like. Where's the lamb list, woman? Dude, I got holes, so... So you take some? You got some? Well, not yet, but... Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's... Next time I'm in there, That's going to be a must. But I got a... So my guy came in that I, I do some deals with, right? Little deals. From Cosmic... Yeah, what I know. What is it, Cosmic? Cosmic what? Games. Yeah. They remodeled their uh, sign on the outside of their building. Did they? Yeah, yeah. it was so a big deal. He was like, ooh, they got cards. He goes, <laughs> can you... Next time you're down there, if you're going down there on Saturday, can you... Take some pictures and text me real quick. And he goes, I will do some finding for you. I see. I want to know. So I mean, I'm going to put him out in the field working for me now. Before it was the other way around. But now, because I can get some Seahawks stuff, he's the. He's like, he's out in the field working for me now. See, and I mean, I got my my crew of coworkers. Dude, and he shows up with the good stuff. Yeah. But and it's like, where do you, where do you, and he won't give up where he gets that's it. That's what I'm trying to say is I got, we're like, you know, damn near 10, 10 of us who frequent over there to try to see what you can, and I, I maybe see here the and there, place? no, at the retail, because oh, he's, yeah. he's the retail hunter. Right, 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 right. And so I, I can, I don't know Odds how people are clean when you out. see retail on my shelf, it came from him. Yeah, no, I, and I know that and I've yeah. seen him bring it in, but it's like, I try to, and he, to pot. When he brings it in, though, like the last time, he brings in a lot. Oh man, he had what six mega boxes of prison football. Yeah, I know. I'm like, where'd you get this? And he won't tell me. He just absolutely will not tell me where he's getting his connection. It, it would have to be Fred Meyer. It would have to be a place that because there's no way. Because I mean, now with Walmart stopping retail, I'm curious if that's gonna, you know, put a limp know. in his game. I don't know, but yeah, I like it though. Yeah, no, I, I like it. People are people are buying. Re- I mean, like hey, like I said earlier, it's about uh breaks i mean a lot of these breaks i see are mass quantities of retail mixers yeah well my thought is if i can't convince you to hobby fuck it i'm i'm, I'm gonna i'm s- getting your money i'm anyway, gonna so i'm getting i'm, I'm putting gonna retail on the shelf i'm gonna get you your money. The bag of dicks no i've totally quit and i said it to a guy today being honest right because turf and dirt that's what they expect i'm like i'm done convincing people i'm done yeah because there's no, I'm there's no reason to. I'm speaking to a brick wall. So if you're dead set on buying retail and don't give two shizzles what I have to say, that's fine. I'll put some retail on the shelf and I'll get your money too. That's like that's like you're giving the uh, three hour spiel, blah 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 blah, and at the end of the spiel, and you're expecting something back from the customer to say something, and he'll say, "Just give me the retail." Yeah, <laughs> and that's what it's spend, like. Yeah, I mean, dude. It's but a waste of time but energy. I feel stupid. Huh? Right, I feel stupid because I think I'm dropping knowledge on them, and they're yeah. attentive, yeah. and they're like no, shaking their head, no, and they're no. making yeah. eye contact, and they're, they're yeah, I'll take the blast. They hit the uh, the sleep mode, the sleep sleep mode so switch. It makes me feel dumb, so well, I'm, I don't want to feel dumb anymore. Switch, and then you're so. just talking. Getting back into those those Facebook groups just to see what the market is out in you know across the country. It it really opens your eyes, like to the people, like even just people privately selling their stuff. To see, I don't know. I want to know the percentage of passionate collectors. There's not many like anymore. Re- like a real collector, because I don't know if anybody truly has a PC. I hear people say, "Oh, hey, you know, I, I'm looking for this card for my PC," but then I see somebody sell like huge thousand dollar lots of one player, and I'm like, "Damn well, no, that was your PC guy, and now you're trying to sell it." It's like. Why are you selling it? I don't think. And it's not like Matthew Stafford dumps like, oh my buddy, guy got traded and now I'm getting rid of him. It's it's like you could tell it's it's new. I just I'm trying to figure out where the where the percentage is. Like if we did a ratio, like a, a poll on Instagram, and like had you know obviously it's anonymous. Just click, you know, are you in it for? That's a good. Idea. That's the, hey the, producer, are you hearing this? Are you in it for the purity of like sure the collecting? 
or are you in it more for the gamble and the now, financial side? The of it? concern I have is, you know, you want it to be anonymous for the simple fact that you want people to on it answer honestly yeah. but i think even the anonymity of it they're not going to answer and honestly they're, no they're going to say oh, oh yeah they, i, I love it will. you really do i think they i think will. you'll I mean, get wow you got they, faith they, they got in people got, dude nah, not so much faith it's just that you're hiding behind uh you know bam bam bigelow cards and uh, who's uh, that some guy in uh, yeah in, in alabama i mean you know i i no. think yeah. you definitely will get a percentage who Remember, will people are hiding behind their, automatically their, their, their click on. like i'm real because maybe they think they are maybe they okay. think that they're yeah. a real collector but then they're selling all of their stuff. Like, like Dusty and I were just having the conversation. You know, he said, "If yeah, he he's a berry guy." But he he made sense when he said, "Yeah, I might sell a couple berry pieces in order to upgrade to a uh -huh. better berry product." And I could I see that. I could see that. That makes sense to me. Okay. Yeah. But I'm gonna sell all of my PC just so I can go buy more freaking hobby or retail hoops. Like, yeah. that's what I feel uh -huh. like people. Everybody's are doing. agenda is different. It is, and, you know, no, nobody, I mean, I learned this too, is, you know, I automatically assumed, like, man, owning a shop jades the sh crap yeah. out of you, right? Like, I automatically assumed if I stripped down and was honest, right, and they knew my honesty, mm. I would get it back. What the hell was that? What was that? Where did it come from? Yeah. Was it you? Yeah, it was me. Okay. Oh, it sounded like yeah. spaceship yeah, no shit. I'm like, shit, did, a... did somebody beam in? I'm like, what the hell? Did Shatner, was he yeah. getting yeah. crazy in the back? So I assumed. That was, oh. that was a wild. Is that your hunger? Warning, warning. warning. Mental soup. Yeah. Yeah. Danger Will Robinson. So I assumed that you would get it back in return. If somebody knew you were being honest, especially in a in a in in an industry like this, I and maybe that's dumb on my part, okay. Yeah. But Naive on your part naive yeah, there we go that's more it's a little word. bit better that's but people weren't have not been honest they've not been no. honest about what they're doing they'll tell me one thing and and then you don't you know oh no i don't no i'm a collector i don't flip anything yeah and then you see them in here buying supplies you know each but week and you go where are you getting your stuff oh target I'm like oh what are you doing with it selling it See, and then you I told me you weren't a flipper. Yeah, I don't um, like that. I thought when I gave this card to you, whatever you said, you were definitely right. It's do like it. it's that? like um, uh, no, yeah. well, difficulty surrounding. Yeah, yeah like it's well, my water bill. Yeah. You know, they do something there's, like oh, I had pandemic. an eviction notice. There's right, a pandemic. It's definitely interesting, but I, I've yeah, I've enjoyed sort of people watching in a way, and. And like I'll sit there and I'll I'll be the only person in the break that's not actually doing the break, just watching everybody like seeing sure. seeing the comments. I'm just curious to see the different, you know, personalities when people say that they're doing a fire sale, how they're trying to sell things. So the interesting experiment that I've done, because cards are hotter than anything right now. Oh yeah. I mean You any. are literally running a Xerox machine in the back. Yeah. But I find the colder I am the more money I make. I know that sounds funny. The less detached I am from the people coming through the door, the more lately money is coming across. I don't know if, if it's coincidence or that legitimately is triggering people to buy, but I found myself today engaging with a couple regulars. Yeah. They spent a little bit. Majority of the money was the people that I am cold as shit. Not on purpose really? just because I didn't. And it's like, yeah, it you seems like really, yeah, you the colder interest. it is, the more money comes yeah. in. I personally can't. Like, when I'm in the shop, I, I I get in, like, the, you know, working retail in the past. Like, Yeah, I'm but you think of it like I do, though. I'm in total salesman mode. Like, I want to I wanna talk. I want to get to know you. I want to know. <laughs> like I did the same thing. What your and breakdown you rip. is. Yeah. And you want to rip. Yeah. And I, yeah, and I'm, I want to sit there, and I'm... I'm walking with them to the damn table, sitting on their lap and watching what they're going to rip open because <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to be in that. I don't know how to read it now, and I guess that's what makes me off my game. Like working all these hours and you start to get burned out a little bit, but I just – I feel like I don't – I don't have a grasp on what reality is right now. You know what? The what reality, like genuine collector, was the guy that was in here last week bought the Star Wars box. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, he, yeah. you, you could tell like his excitement in certain things. The cool thing with him, huge. though, I didn't realize who he was because he wore a mask. Stacy yeah. had to inform me when we were driving home who he was. 
he was the official photographer for the Everett Aqua Yeah, Sox. he said he worked with the Aqua Sox. Well, I knew he, he but I didn't, in I didn't what place yeah. it, right? He didn't put two so, together yet. Yeah, so, and I was like, dude, I got on, I got in his ass our first year. You remember that? Yeah. When they did the, th- st- oh, man, he and I, woof. I felt ass, bad man. because he because spent he money was... in here and I was pissed at his ass. Like, <laughs> he and I were not, jo- we were not jealous. Amigos. But he did say that he recognized you. Yeah, we we fucking got into a little bit. You changed a little. But he, I felt like he was I'm warm. I'm a little different. When he, yeah. I, when he I was in here, I felt like he was really warm. He like was. He, and that's I a, think he would come. That's the thing that surprised me because our relationship previous was battling. And we're talking we about battled. somebody who drove an hour, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. to get yeah. here. And he I came, 30 minutes. But he, no, he said, he was like, this is like, my day. An, an award? He's like, this is my day off. He needs a bag of dicks. Yeah. No, he wants, he wants an expense check. Yeah. He said, this is my day off. And I searched card shops and I saw this one and I made the trip up here. And I, I mean, I think that's cool. I think that's, yeah. that, that shows, you know, he wasn't saying, hey, I looked up every Fred Meyers, Walmart, and Target to hit all the retail spots. Correct, correct. He said, I was looking up a hobby shop. That sold real cards, real but it, but if product. you look at my reaction to him, I enjoyed that. You did no, and that's then that I, was fun. Like I had a good time doing that and because it was it was you know I'm gonna buy a box, you're gonna rip it. Yeah, it was. He totally he was. Well, D-Man just said it was you know it felt warm. He did. He, he it, I mean it was I weird see. at the end, but he know. definitely like he was standing off to the he was at the counter. And Jimmy's over here ripping his product, and Jimmy wasn't even handing him the cards. He I'm just putting like, him down. I'm just putting him down. He's just like, I'm done coming. Like, like, do you want down. me to hand him to? He's like, he's no. Like, no. He's like, no. You do your thing. He's yeah. like, I can. He's like, I'm enjoying this, and it was like, you know, he. So it was a good time. his own, man. Yeah, no, it was a cool vibe. So if he ends up coming back to the Aqua Socks and taking the pictures, <laughs> dude, we need to huddle because <laughs> turf and dirt, we're heavy in the Aqua Socks arena coming up in April. So. No, that was that, no. He no. I forget where he he didn't mention. He's photographing somewhere. Yeah, he mentioned so. something about switching jobs, but yeah. No, he. I mean, you, you even mentioned about podcast. Do you want to hear? You want to hear Star Wars our, our rift? Uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. So I mean, I was. Was it a picture of Evan White and he didn't get? <laughs> you no, didn't get to grab. So his butt. the thing was, is when I secured the sponsorship with Everett when I was with the other person, Joe Mamas. Yeah, I was proud of that deal that was a dream come true for me because that's a huge deal because i'm now linked to professional baseball and in one way of shape or form yeah correct so the we arranged for webley the mascot mm-hmm. to come up and take photos at the shop oh nice and he was going to be taking the photos and it was the same day that the mariner caravan with kyle lewis was coming through bellingham and i can't remember what we were doing but I communicated with them because we were late. And I communicated with them. We're running late. This is my dream. Don't do this without me, please. You had, you had to go pick up Emily. Yeah. And by the time I got back, he was done, buttoned up, and all the promo photos were of Joe and his mm. wife. <laughs> Webley, Everett, Deep, wearing jury, like, and I'm like, I was pissed. So we go to the caravan, and I'm angry. I'm storming in there, so looking to pick Lewis, a fight. Kyle Lewis would Should remember Joe you. Friggin <laughs> yes, up. he would. Kyle Lewis would be like, you're Rick, that maniac. Rick Riz is that. like going, dude, you're the one that freaked out. And uh. I pulled his ass aside, <laughs> and I, I, I was up to my neck in his rear end. Like, uh, I was sure, sure what Joe didn't say, like, hey, speed it up. Hey, Joe, he loved it. Oh, jeez. I was mad. Like I was mad drama. for a month. No, yeah, that it would be And it off. kind of carried over into Everett because we didn't quite get all the social media. Right, so promos. he got pissed. And we when we started doing our booth, and at the time, it's like, I don't care now. But yeah. during the time, I'm looking at all these other setups, and there's 19 photos of every booth. There's one of us across the field, <laughs> right, where you barely like, see. Where's Waldo? Yeah, and... It got to be a certain point where I went in and complained to manager, and I'm like, dude, this is like, I'm going to take him out back and just beat him. I'm going to beat him. Beat him. Like, if he doesn't start taking pictures of our, I'm going to beat yeah. him because we're paying sponsorship dollars, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> need, okay. You need to hire but, him. Get, a, get him up here. Is and... his name Sherry? What was it? I want to say something with Jay. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Jason? Know. Yeah. Jason, say. yeah. Oof. I got a bad memory, but man. Like I just and every time that season we'd be sitting in our seats and I'd see him on the field walking by, I just want to 
Fuck it. Take the hot dog out of the bun. Just, just exactly coming right after him. And, and take and that one hardened peanut and just where's the, bounce it the, the shirt can? Take the hot dog. Yeah. You still have the bun. You can fake like you're still eating the hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> So you're in my cool book now. No, nah, he was we're, good guy. We're all right. We're all right. So you can always just time down and hold him in front of the pitching machine. <laughs> some happy Gilmore stuff. I'm always thinking some. I'm yeah. always thinking some tactical. Got to get ready for the season. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. All right. So we kind of went off the rail a little bit here, but that's all right. Uh, that's what it is. Raw. Product product coming out. We've got a couple nice releases. The one I'm actually looking forward to the most is 2020 Leaf Metal Baseball. We have Hobby and the Jumbo version. I've never had the jumbo before. I, I didn't it. know what to expect. So I'm asking Stacy, I'm like, okay, so the leaf metal is like five autos, regular. I'm like, mm. okay, that's normal. What's the jumbo? Because we're getting a lot of it. And you get like 10 autos and a slabbed proof card. Yeah. That's I'm like, that's dope. That's worth it. For... You get a slabbed Spencer Torkelson. Well, it's it's, it's leaf, so it's not yeah, gonna be. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not a thousand dollars like you would expect. It's leaf product, so it's not licensed. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm Still I'm actually ticket. more excited over that than I am the hoops. I, you know, most I, people are excited for the hoops. I, I'm ex, I'm excited for the hoops because, like I've been saying about this year, I just feel like it's a good even kill playing field for the rookies. Uh, I'm, I liked some of the insert styles that I've been looking at. I actually did. I had a twenty dollar credit to uh, the five hundred club, so I did get a Lamelo Ball shirt. I needed something to. Oh, there you go. To mix up the wardrobe, so I bought that. It was like, he's he's on bucks. the cover. Yeah, he. I he's mean, he's on the he's, cover, and he's still he's like leading him. in points. I mean, I like the flash, the flare, so I think that's fun. The unis. The, yeah, the unis are sharp. Get me a Hornets. That's yeah, what you I missed need. my. Kareem Abdul Abdul Jabbar white. I saw the school. Jabbar. Yeah, the, the Bucks. Yeah, white jersey with the uh, yeah. The red, so the Christmas yeah. colors. I don't know. You know, the problem is, is you know, hoops is going to do well for some people. I'm going to do a preview rip of it for the shop. We don't if have we a. Get it in. We don't. Yeah. How much is coming in? We're okay. So we have four boxes at our disposal. So that's two are much. spoken for. Oh, so okay. We All were right. getting six originally. Right. So two are spoken for. I'm gonna do one for the shop. That leaves three, and we're looking at a dollar amount. Of- four hundred bucks. We're gonna move it for. I know right now it's closer to five, but I won't do that. We're gonna do it at four. Four. And 24, it's like Twenty-four packs, packs. divided by four hundred, whatever that turns out to be. What is that? Um, somebody asked me today, and I'm like, Stacy, what is it retailing for? And she's like, upwards of four seventy-five. And I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah, I heard that on the rip. I will do four hundred dollars in the background. Seventeen bucks a pack. Okay, so. That is about what I'm going to sell it for. Oh, Seventeen. Oh, that's not bad. Game. That's Don yeah. Russ like football, and that's about. Yeah. So, but the problem is, your preview rip is going to suck. Why? It always ends up work when a basketball. It always ends up working that way for me, anyway. Well, like we've done it here before. The preview the rip is bad, like, and it was bad. And then it's like okay, so on so and so's channel. It's going great. Yeah, on right. Turvendirt, it sucks, so we're not going to buy Turvendirt's because well, it's you just, been You just sucking. need a better, got five per, better, better that person box? doing a preview rip. All right, Dusty, you, you got the preview rip? Ouch. Oh, that box didn't go too Dude, good? That was a, back in ten. That was, a, that was getting both Bowman danglies draft? with the top of the foot. His, Bowman, Bowman draft? It was no one of right. one Torkelson. Yeah, uh, he, was, he was banking on that. I, got, I just got kicked in the danglies right there. Did you hear that? In the Bojangles? Yeah, Bojangles. I, I could recoup at least. My ears are ringing. I'll, I'll rip it. Let, you, let me do the preview rip. This this finger is going to fall off, so I might as well use it before. Is that what they said? This thing is dead. Oh, it's, which finger? Oh, is that one right there? Yeah. yeah the that's his that middle. The that's one his, that doesn't look like the other. Yeah, that's his. It yeah. It's, it looks a little. Don't. Ew, dude, dude, get it away <laughs> from me. It, it, fumudgeon. We're working with it is. My, no, what you do, though, is my you. My boss is like, what? No, you, you play it up. you like, dude, there was this runaway bus full of nuns. The only way I could stop it <laughs> was with my, was was with my finger. And I had to jump in the way, and this midget nun came out. Tra- <laughs> Cross dressing oh, midget nuns. The murder hornets were chasing me. I was reaching back and just punching them as they came yep. after me. Yeah, no, I'm waiting Going for the, the thing queen. to fall off. A clown jumped out. You, every every time I ass. see your cigarette, your uh, cigar cutter, 
That's what I think of. Oh, dude. Oh, that's, a little, that's, uh, that's all I ever think of when I do this. It's, it's almost like grown-ups. No, it's my turn. No, I want to do it. When I see that, I'm like, man, that would just be, it would be a clean cut. And I see Yakuza it. action, man. Yeah. I saw it on a TV show recently. Really? Too. I was like, yeah, they oh. cut that sucker oh, off. God, I would puke. What show was that? How about you? It wasn't a show called uh, not What Wa- Happened to Monday. Not WandaVision. The one with the sisters? No, it wasn't that. Okay. No, you you watch weird stuff. Like, nah, dude. If it, my it, titles are not paragraphs of movies I watch. It's usually <laughs> one or two words, not... Grown-ups. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, Terminator, right? It's That's like Star four, Wars. Like four words? Ter- Terminator. <laughs> it's not a termite. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. All right. I'm ready for some yeah, hoops. There we go. Let's let's get some hoops. So we'll see. I mean, I'm lukewarm about it. I want to sell it. Don't get me wrong. And there's going to be lots of people. Co- I got people coming through the door expecting it tomorrow. So GTS, I mean, we, we can lock the door. Yeah. Well, Dust, Dusty can drive because I forgot that I have. I'll be carless tomorrow. He, Dusty can drive down and go pick up hoops. Yeah, we're gonna we're yeah. gonna make him go down and get it. In that big old truck. It's not the so, suburban. Anyway, so hopefully all that works out tomorrow. I think D Mags is wanting to do a little Phoenix. And we, yeah, action. I mean, why don't you explain to the because so you know how I feel about breaks. I know how you feel about breaks. So I, I they're going to see turf and dirt break. I despise. And you're going to want to explain it. I despise gonna know. breaks 100. percent I I just it's it's hard to get what on you, board. What are you bird dogging me for? So it ain't my deal, buddy. Buddies, last night. I mean, there was six seven co-workers everybody was jumping in on this phoenix break and i ran down did the math 988 dollars is what this guy got from this box that is 550 in change ish to buy to reorder right somewhere in, in like that, that in yeah. that range so you're talking about which phoenix i mean for cost is brutal you're talking about well That's over brutal. 400 dollars of profit that this person is making the top two teams were Bengals and Chargers to buy for. Bengals one hundred dollars, Chargers one fifty. One guy bought both of those teams. The best card pulled for him, or the, the only card pulled out of those two teams, was a Joe Mixon base card. You paid two fifty, two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, it wasn't two dollars and fifty cents. I, I got That's the gamble, man. I got five Joe Mixon Bullshit. base that I can oh, give come him. On. That is not a gamble. Don't give me that. If you. Did that? If that was you, I'd be tearing to set. You would be texting me the next but day up here, bitching and complaining, and and it would we would be hearing about it a week later. So don't give me this. Oh, that's the gamble crap. So that's yeah, I want to I want to throw throw down and give the buddies who want that Phoenix. There's you know a hand I could, could definitely fill one with eight people on an easy way. So the reason could I'm have been gonna, a Keyshawn Vaughn. Please <laughs> shut up. But that's why Dude, I, do. I got the I got the boat. Keyshawn Vaughn. That's Come why on. I do appreciate KB because yeah. he's getting a fair price on the boxes. He is. And he is not trying. He is not trying to gouge. He's, and like he says, he he puts on his brakes every time he posts. He's like, you can't find these prices anywhere else. Exactly. Unbeatable prices. KB's ripping it up. He's doing good. Like he, I wasn't and expecting. The more you buy, the more you, you buy, the price comes down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, 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 mul- yeah. Multiple spots. I'm, yeah. I'm ashamed to say I don't know how he's working it. Like because it's his company. I'm. I, I sponsor yeah, him. I, I, he gets his I product from me, but I let him go. Like hoops. He posted it on Sunday, and I it, it, it sold flew. out. Yeah. I mean, and I don't even know if it. Made so it he's an ripping hour. it up. So, but I, you know, and that's yeah, why I give yeah. him. I give him credit on that. I do too. I I wasn't expecting it. What. Okay. If you guys are wondering, that's yeah. Dust. He's in the he's he's in the he's background in the background giving us so studio support. Yeah. So I'm telling you right now, I'm I'm proud of I'm proud of yeah, Kyle. No, he's I'm doing proud awesome. of Braden. They're doing a great job. I look forward to seeing what's going to happen. I mean, yeah. I mean, we give them product at good cost, but I want to see him six. Like, I don't care about that. I want to see him make some money. Oh yeah. I mean, there's enough money for everybody except yeah, for but you. Like, but he, for like everybody, you said, he right? still wants. You don't to, get any money. He wants to be fair. And I, of that thing up there. And I res- yeah, you get one of those. I respect that because yeah, no. of the way that breakers are, and so that's why, like, I want to do a local break. You know, not we we'll, we can air it on Instagram. We sure, can do it, but sure. I want to see get get some local people just to get that vibe of a break. But so here too. I'm agreeing to it just for the simple fact is you're going to do it, but yeah, it's going to be, be 
It's going to be after hour party, but it's going to be local people. I want to see them because that's the cool factor. You get to do a break and and the majority of the people are local. Yeah. And that's exactly what I, you know, we, I think that's cool. We, we freaking talk about it. We're getting people who really aren't card people into it, you know? And so they've been doing the breaks, but if they're going to do a break, I would rather it be worth their while. And so I think for the same price or even less, they can have a chance at really enjoying. Let's do it, it for less. We're not. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. We're not about gouging. No, I'm not talking about people, but way up there. But you know, an affordable range. But sure, like, sure. Um, yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting to see. I know. You know. Yeah. It's it's an ugly monster. It's a, it's a good yeah. It's an ugly I monster, like, but it's you, a different are getting, venture. Are you getting bored? No. Yeah, you kind of look like you keep no. looking at the notes. Like, I got, just to see what's know. up. I got I got three minutes on this card. I'm. I'm are you have you bid yet? No. Okay. I'm not like I can't. Stacy said, just go a huge go number top on dog. that. Yeah. Yeah, sh- sh- I might poop myself. Shut yeah. it down. So and then wake up and you'll. I've been out bidding. It again. doesn't work that way. So, so while D Mags is monitoring his Two for the next seconds. three minutes, <laughs> I got a little story to tell. This is so a I had story. A gen- I had a gentleman come in about a week ago. Comes in, wearing a mask, very tall guy, right? He looks at me, and I'm sitting behind the counter not wearing my mask, as always, because when you come to Turpinder, F the mask. I ha- I got a complaint about that. By me? No, uh, a complaint about By, a, by some, an- another co-worker, first time coming in here. Yeah. He wasn't a, it wasn't an all-around complaint, but it was yeah, his uh, wife made him I don't have care. to leave. I, I know. Care. He's like, it doesn't matter whether you get the shot He said he was going to come back, but he had to come back on his own. Anyway, That's go ahead. Anyway, I don't care. If you don't like it, don't come here. There's... Not many options for you. Yeah. Um, so he comes in. He goes, you don't recognize me, do you? I'm like, dude, you're wearing a mask. Like, that's, you know, I wanted yeah. to say that's a stupid thing yeah. to say. But Boy, you Zorro. I'm like, no, sir, I don't know who you are. Pulls his mask down. I still didn't. It didn't hit. Right? Okay, I think I, you. And then the face registered for a minute. I'm like, okay, I recognize the features, but I, he Hi, goes, I'm, I'm Mark. I'm like, okay. I'm Jimmy. And I'm Mark. I'm like, <laughs> Mark. And then I got to, I'm like, wait a minute. He goes, I own the shop you went to when, as a kid. I'm like, holy crap, that's Tegan's dad. And that's just like full cool, circle, right? Cool circle. So he has he, friends of his, um, friends of his wife. Um, the, the kids come here all the time. Mm-hmm. So they, they were hearing about turf and dirt, turf and dirt. He found out it was me, right? And I was a freak. I was in his shop every other day. (laughs) Ride your bike down. He started in 1989, so I was 13. I was 13 years old. Um, he was kind of getting into cards before. Like we would go, and he would be buying. Like when Mm -hmm. we go to Tegan's house, like you would see cases of stuff, and you'd be like, "Ooh, yeah, that would." You know, it wasn't in a shop setting. It was at a home setting, right? But. Anyway, so I remember 1989 Upper Deck releasing. And I remember being a kid standing in his shop and watching him unpack the boxes and put them on the counter. I mean, those towering blue boxes. And they were a buck a piece per pack. Okay. I couldn't afford that. You can't. I was paying 40 cents for tops. Now, nowadays, you oh, know, that's, that's the only spot that you can I afford know, that's, it. That's how far, you know, that's how long... In the tooth, I am age wise. Tony can relate, but so can Dusty. But D Mags doesn't quite have the no. aptitude. I don't have the. I don't have the. He's not. I don't have the memory yeah. to be honest. What the price? So were. I was just blown away. I didn't even at the first. I didn't even know what to say, and I'm like, dude, you have no idea how much your shop influenced what I'm doing. I wanted a shop based on what you did. His shop was called Fielder's Choice. Sixty six bucks. Did you win it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. It, you said Boom. A, you said a hundred. Hundred. I wouldn't be surprised to see it. So. Six, Sixty six. Take it. Anyway, so he owned Fielder's Choice. His shop was started, um, which I learned I didn't know on a bet. Um, but he partnered with the guy that owned the remote control shop, the RC shop, and he said, "Hey, I'll bet you money if I give you a little corner." that you will be making so much money that you will want to take over half the shop. And he's like, no way. So I made a bet and he ended up losing. And so he ended up Damn taking for up, making money. Yeah. He ended up taking over half the shop. And so it was an RC fielder's choice. And which was I, a cool shop. I like, oh, it was I like beautiful. The name. Fielder's choice is beautiful, That's, man. It was a great I like the name though. Went in there all the time, spent all of my lawn mowing money. That's how I made my money. Lawn mowing and babysitting when I was 13. 
They let you baby. So he goes, yeah, believe it or not, right? <laughs> I was watching other people's kids Shit. at 13. Shit. Not nowadays. Yeah, yeah. No, hell no. no. <laughs> so he had these white racks, and he's like, hey, you know, there was some stuff from my shop I thought maybe you'd like to have in here that you interacted with as a kid. Okay. I almost cried when I saw the other ones, but I'm like, yeah, I took them. So you brought those white racks that we're seeing right here. Yeah. He had those. And the he original, goes, the originals. The originals, yeah. But he had some red four racks. And I pulled packs off of those when I was a kid. And they are now sitting in my shop in the back. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I had to go. Holding and, those wax packs. They are. I had to go and have a moment because mm-hmm. I touched those same racks when I was a kid. And Wait. they're now in my shop. Now this is so bare. And now in my shop, 31 years later. In great condition. <sighs> And they're, they're not, beautiful they're shape. Like rusted heat. Right. No, freaking, they're in great yeah. shape. You know, they and, were in a non-heated. Uh, you know, it was warehouse. emotional. It was full circle. I felt bad for him because he didn't know how to react to your shop influence this shop. He didn't yeah, know how to react I mean, to that. I don't think he was expecting that. To be an influencer. He was the OG. So his wife used to make cookies for us kids when we would come into the shop. She would have a plate of cookies and we'd get it. She came up. I almost cried. She came with a plate of cookies. Oh, yeah. damn. No. She, she didn't tell me that part. She well, yeah. wasn't. I was saving some of it. Okay, I got you. She had a plate That's of cookies, awesome. and she gave the, me the cookies, nice. and I devoured them. So I <laughs> and they reminded me of when I was a kid. I couldn't believe it. It was like, oh, my God. Like, this, is, this is why I do Turf and Dirt, is That's, this kind of stuff. That's a cool vibe. It was, I've got goosebumps right now. See, I just this is nuts. wish, because unfortunately, we're in such a you know awkward time, like, there's not enough kids trafficking through here. I sure like coming through and getting that vibe on. There own. is not. I mean, you know, the funny part is I think about when I was a kid, I didn't see many adults in his shop. They were all under Teenagers. way under 18. Yeah. Um, and I really have, you know, since this incident, I've really thought back and tried to jog my memory. Of course, many events in my life have happened to eliminate some of those memories, but it's been a colorful year. You get a bike oh, rack out here, try to draw skid kids. Out. It's crazy, and the problem is, I'm not. I'm not going to get. Them. We're not going. Yeah, I'm not going to go down that road. I'm not talking about problems right now. Yeah, so we don't got no problems. It was cool. I'm emotional about it. I love it. I love seeing those things in here. It's like full circle stuff. No, that's a that's a huge. You huge, know. You know. And that was all life, unexpected. It was just like boom. I heard about you were here. You were owning it. I wanted to see for myself. Sure. And he was like, I'm like, dude, you, he was the most organized guy. Did you on the get a picture planet. with him? I feel like I you didn't. Need, I feel like you need a picture and you need to hang it in the shop. I, I need yeah, it. Like I need to do that. You know? I because to do I just, I just feel like that's. So I said, you know, like obviously the, or, the organization of the shop is, is largely Stacy. Mm-hmm. But I remember that knowing that any shop that I would have would have to be as organized as his was. He was meticulous. Like, there was never a card out of place. Devil's in the details. Right. There was, everything was straight. It was clean. It was, I hate to say it looked commercial. Yeah. You know, because it was so sterile. Like Marysville? But that's, <laughs> but that's good. But that's good because, I mean, this is coming from a guy who, he was just going in. He was diving right head first and didn't have any so, game plan on how to set up a card shop. I was curious because I didn't know the story of his shop, right? And I'm like, I didn't I didn't actually know when he ended his shop. And mm-hmm. so I asked him, I made the comment, how did you handle the collapse in 94? He's like, what collapse? Wait a minute. We hear all the time, right? Yeah. The industry just tanked in 94. He was already out of it, huh? No. He was like, we didn't notice it. He goes, basketball was a hiccup. We Mm -hmm. noticed there was a little bit of drag in sales. Outside of a little, you know, our basketball sales were a little lower. Nothing was affected. Well, what caused you to get out of it? He goes, I was in the game for 14 years, and in 2003 we got out. I'm like, well, why did you get out? He said, well, they moved to a bigger location, and I was already doing – You were. I was graduated high school, and I was doing my adult stuff. And he said when eBay became prevalent and people were really starting to quote eBay prices and they were direct with all the companies, so they couldn't match what people were selling on eBay. Mm -hmm. 
they just they just realized they couldn't make any money that way, so they got out. Hmm. Sold it all off. Believe it or not, John Sandstrom bought them out. <laughs> and that's you know, it's freaking uh, that guy's something else, man. <laughs> he, Talk about timing and like gets his hands on, on everything. His, well, he you know, he, he he's it's like being a stalker, bro. You you pounce on it the moment you hear the opportunity. Well, yeah, that's he bid at the right time. <laughs> so there was a trip up to his Joe place. I was informed that there's some stuff in there that's been in that he's had when he had his shop in 03. So, wow. yeah, <laughs> he goes, it's, there's not a lot to change, but yeah, I'm, I did go into that other shop today and it, you know, it was a different, it's a different vibe, but it does remind me of his original shop that was out in there. Like it just, so here's the thing. Vibe. And I've talked about this. I thought it was just being an asshole. Right. I just thought, you know, the previous guy I worked with, I, it was just he was an asshole. Mm-hmm. Right. I was wrong. And I'm saying it now. I was wrong. Yeah. No. And, and John said today because I said, you know, competitor. And he's like, no, we're not competitors. No. I mean, my shop is completely different than yeah. his. Right. What we do here. And, you know, and you is nowhere you know, close. Please. No. no. Neither. Different please. Lives. It's like the Starship Enterprise and uh, Columbus, is, school bus. Columbus is Nina, right? And Santa Maria. <laughs> it's the short bus yeah. with Bellingham yeah. on the side of it, and yeah, the, the Nimitz, right? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and Lewis. <laughs> but I realize it's not being an asshole. It's no. just the generation. Yeah, those guys learn how to do a shop the same way. Old, dusty. They don't know any better. Yeah. Right. Because when I go into John, I like John. John's my friend. Right. I mean, nah, he helped us out. He's a good dude. Yeah. And he's, deep down. He. I mean, he still got a lot of stuff that I bet you if we <sighs> popped in this shop, probably we flying through. The that. thing is, and people ask me all the time because John, they go in there and they like they drop my name thinking there's going to be friction. Oh shit. Yeah. And he'll say good things. Yeah. And they'll come in here and go. He talks. I don't have anything bad to say. I've not known John in the business capacity, Mm -hmm. right? I've known him as a friend, and I knew him when we were in the same coaching circles. Yeah. But being opposition in card shops, I've never known him in that capacity. So I don't know how he operates. I can't speak to that. Yeah. You know, I know how others operate, but I'm just convinced it's not an asshole. It's just how they were taught. Yeah. It's just not a wrong wrong way to do business. Yeah. I mean... So all my, you know, asshole talk was incorrect. It was just, it was just a, uh, it was just old. It was just crusty. It was just an awkward situation. It was different. Yeah. So anyway, there has been a lot of just moments, you know, it it seems like turf and dirt no longer are days and weeks. It's just flashes of moments right now. I, I, Mike Schmidt came back. That's the oh, other yeah, thing. I, yeah, I saw that. That's it's the other not thing. the same one, though. It is the same one. Oh. Yeah, the it, one that was, the one that was asked, taken. The one that I asked about, and when we discovered it was gone. So I'm sitting here, and I'm depressed as hell because I can't get any movement on insurance, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden, Dusty sends me a text. Or no, he comes in, and he has got a picture because he was in Bellingham Coin. He goes, they have a Mike Schmidt OC. Off center. And he goes, I don't think there's a ton of OCs in Whatcom County because that's an unusual way to do it. And I'm like, okay, well, we have the picture of the original that we gave the police that has the serial number. And he goes, I just took this picture. 4623? Yeah. And I compare the serial number and it's exact. 4623. So I'm like, shit. So Dusty and I haul ass over there. Right, I bring a wad of cash because he told me they also have some Star Wars stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, always an opportunity. There's always right. an opportunity. Short of the twelve thousand dollar So I go in there. I'm packing. Everybody in there is packing, and Justin, who's a regular here, looks up and goes, "I knew you'd be in here quick." And point into the card and then get it out and give it to me. And I look at it and I'm like. Damn, it's the same card. And so I gave him all the information, like when we filed the case, when yeah. he would have been in here to sell it or take it. Yeah. You know, we kind of know what the date was, and we're like, can you 
identify them. Right. And then it was like, yeah, we'll have to get into our records because those are archived and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Stacy's like happy, right? She goes, oh, I get to call the police. She loves calling the police. She <laughs> loves that shit. So she calls the police, 911, not emergency. Okay, what do you need? We recovered stolen property. We had a case that was filed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll have an officer get back to you, right? <laughs> I come from a different world. You could probably attest to this because we kind of ran in the same circle, right? Right. These MFers, right, call back and he goes, yeah, COVID's got us busy. The tents downtown, we're just slammed. Can you get the name for us? Can you find out who did it and tell us? Are you serious? Is that your price tag that's on the back of that? No, no, that was theirs. theirs. Yeah. It's double that. Yeah, it's like, oh, you want us to do all your work. Like, I can't go in and force Bellingham Coin to yeah. give me records, right? Your forensics guy can. But yeah. if, if the guy with the, the digital <laughs> ports and he's got the nine guns, shit. he can go in and go, give me your shit, and they can do it immediately, the right? Bat, I'm the, like, ba the battle belt. I'm like, when did the police work change where we got to do all the work and give them the info, and then they... Yeah, that's like, the credit that's for, for you. Stand in front of City Hall and... Get praised. So it was like a victory, but it was a defeat. So did you have you found out yet who it is? No. You? No. No. That's... They won't lift a finger. But what, what He goes, if I get time, if I get time, I'll see if I can What's the go over like, there. Well, why was Destiny in Bellingham Coin? What, what, what was in there? What did you need in Bellingham Coin? Oh, they actually they actually have a they have a display of some cards and stuff, and actually he I did buy some cards from them. They gave He's cheated. They He's cheated on turf and dirt, just like you did today. I to told you, I te I'll you didn't you. do it before. I'll you didn't do it before. You didn't say, "Hey, I'll, I'll show I'm you the going in there." I'll no, show you I, the text. I, no, but I was like, I even text my buddy. I was like, "Oh, I feel so dirty." <laughs> I was like, you're like, I'm cheating on my wife. <laughs> yeah, you felt so wrong. Yeah, I mean, he. Yeah. So he had to go into an estate sale to pull crap out for Dusty to look Obviously, at. So right. it was not like interesting. They got some decent stuff in the case, though. I mean, they have a small case. It's like yeah. it's like twenty cards. That's it. So I heard there's a shop uh, down in Burlington that's a coin shop that sells cards. It's in Mount Vernon. Or, yeah, yeah. It's across the street. It's right down, right in old downtown. Stampin' they Coin. Stampin' yeah. Coin. They haven't opened in a while. No, they haven't done cards in a while. They have. I bought some Cuban coins there. Of course, you have. Cuban coins. Cuban, Cuban coins. coins. All right. So, damn, damn so we're going to get to the Star Wars. So I'm like, all right, got the card, da, 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 given thing, you can take a picture. Blah, blah. All right, Star Wars. So they had so a, you had to pay for that, though? No. They oh, gave right. it. To, I mean, good on good on Bellingham Coin. Okay. Justin, those guys over there, you guys rock. They gave me the card. No problems. They just wanted the info that we had. Underpriced what, by about yeah, they underpriced it by a lot. We... We think Don't they look. did it because there's a crack in the case, but I'm going to send it off to get it re-slabbed because this bad boy is going back in, and I'm putting a what is what is the thing you got on Chris and the the, the locator thing? Oh, my tile. Uh, yeah, I'm gluing yeah. I'm gluing a tile to this bad boy, this beehive. <laughs> so anyway, so good on Dusty for paying attention and being in there and. Kind of weird, but that's all right. <laughs> hey, no, and that's that's good. I'm mean, that's so, but I it gave me hope. Story it behind. gave me hope, though. I'm like, okay, so we're getting some stuff that's been stolen coming full circle, right? Yeah, that's why I said I want to know the story. So we got broken into. Guy took some. Sh so I'm thinking somebody's going to come and drop this guy like right at the door and go, here you go. Yeah, do, I'm, do what you will I, to him. I definitely see that happening. I definitely so, eventually see somebody. I bought a cattle prod to stick in his butt and turn it cool. on to see what will happen. You know what? You should get the brander, but with the turf and dirt oh, logo. Oh, right on, right like, on his pee pee. I'm sure Stacy can get those. She was in the. I edited that for television. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that would be that would be interesting. so. Anyway, so I'm hoping things are coming full circle. You know, the whole idea is karma, right? I mean, yeah, that's a little bit of karma, I think. So we'll see. I hope. The police do their job, and I'm not doing it for them. So. Probably not. Seven. Sold. Exactly. This is an eight. So once I get it re-slabbed, we're looking at eight, nine hundred bucks. Pretty good. Not 260? Not 260. Yeah. I looked negotiable. at Justin, and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? You could have gotten double that easy. Why did he? This is an example we're doing the wrong thing. Because I guess it's like, I'm buying a car. 
You yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Why he didn't snap? Is he the? I was prepared to give him two sixty four. If they were like, "Dude, we got to recover our," I'm like, "I'll pay you." You know, yeah. I'm willing to pay you for the car. I want it back. It's my card. Well, I mean, I think that's protocol anyway. If you go to a pawn shop or coin shop, and they, you know, when they hold stuff for thirty days to verify it hasn't been stolen, you know, they can have a ton of shit, and it could just it comes right back out of their inventory. Anyway, so I'm glad to get that back. I don't know what to do with it quite yet. I don't know if the police are going to want to see it or yeah, what. Yeah, well, they, they're probably too busy. So All the hobos well, at Civic Field. Well, you can go to, yeah. go to Cruising Coffee and probably see them. And no, just go, go to Civic Field. Up there, yeah. Yeah. That's where everybody uh, is. Set off, your own, set off your own alarm. They'll be here in a minute. Yeah, they'll three get there quick, three, right? Three they're like, shit, they're robbing turf and dirt. Anyway, so we're going to get to my quick topic. So we've kind of revamped how we do Cards Corner, right? Well, cut in the... I don't care. Cut Just in go. the thing. I don't go down care. Low. Let's go. Get down low. Get low. Get low, low. Nobody oh, is, my God. Uh, he just ruined it. Now we got like... give a shit. We lost 50 viewers. Okay. Wait, did we, we even got 50 viewers? Okay. We, we, did, we, we lost a viewer. We lost all our subscribers. Yeah. All right. So, the topic I want to talk about, and this came across my news feed. This is going to play into cards being super hot, right? We're printing money. Got a printer in the back. Xerox are really good at yep. it. Okay. Canon is the second best. Anyway, Golden Auctions. I don't know. I'm curious, but Golden Auctions ended up acquiring two PSA 10, 86, 87 Michael Jordans. Okay. They sold for a record number on January 30th, Mm -hmm. a couple days ago, for $738,000. They both sold for the same amount. Different auctions. Now, that's a the part. That part doesn't. Okay, cards are going for record but, numbers. Right. That, but the current, like the coincidence of same price. But this part made me go. This is a podcast topic. The card jumped five hundred thousand dollars in less than a month. And why? Why for Jordan? They don't know. They don't know. It didn't come out of the vault, did it? So yeah. on. January 3rd, PSA 10, and we talked about it on this episode, yeah. sold for $217,200. January 3rd. January 30th, 27 days later, it was five hundred more than $500,000 more. And this could be what everybody, the word that people keep just throwing at me every time they see that I'm buying, got my collection of cards going. Investment. Investment. Like people were just thinking like, Oh, yeah, man. I mean, I'm gonna yeah. hurry up and I'm gonna grab this at this price. Like, I feel like this is good yeah. and this is gonna be my investment because maybe that card MJ is going to be the mantle, you know, in 10 years. I mean, to it could be years. It could I, be. I just think that's where people's mindset is. It's all about the dollars. Game. The thing that floored me though is in December of 2019, that same card sold for 32 grand. What date? December of 2019. Okay, so, so the, we were the two months old. Price jump from December to just early January it wasn't even seven hundred and six thousand no, dollars. But, but just from the thirty two to the two hundred, you know, that's a talking, big jump. That's not. I mean, that's a big jump. But then you're talking twenty seven days. It jumped up five hundred, more than five hundred thousand. So it, it, in twenty seven days, it tripled. That's its what jump it up. sold for. That's not saying that's the value of the card. Correct. No, because correct. hey, I'm gonna go you seven thirty eight, seven forty eight. Seven 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 forty eight fifty. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm, I'm curious at the game of it. Up. But this is the thing that floors me, and this is the part I don't understand: is I don't have a grasp on why it went. I'm a LCS owner. In I twenty seven days in the five hundred more than five hundred thousand in a guy twenty seven days off. You know, or not even. It's and he's two been retired options. for. Yeah. And he's not in the. I mean, he's I get not it in, if the he's world. in the world. If he's in the news, right? He passed away. Was in a car accident. Sure, he sure, got sure, a girl sure. pregnant. Whatever. You Hall know, of Fame. He owns the Hall of Fame because right. he bought it from whoever owns yeah. it. The Mets owner. <laughs> <laughs> He's in trouble. So, like, I don't I don't understand. And so, cards right now, it's topsy-turvy. Like, people ask me all the time. I had a guy in today. I don't uh, direct me. I'm yeah. like, I can't. I no. don't understand it. And I'm here just to take your money. That's all I know. And, again, like, for, for me, I could only just use what I – experience of getting back in the game is I showed you that card that I just bid on. What yeah. would, and I said, what would you think that would be? You know? And it's like to each their own, you know? Sure. Like, like Dusty said, I asked the same question to him on one and he's like, well, it, it doesn't matter what 
I think I'm going to, if I want that card, I'm going to pay whatever, however yeah. much money I want to pay. Dude, exactly. I got 19 Evan that's Whites why over said, there that I did. And that's so, why I asked. It's the value. It's not the value of the card. It's but here's the thing, though, is they pumped out some statistics on what PSA and Beckett have seen with Michael Jordan's. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go over some of those numbers. You ready? Spit them out. So more than 18,000 Michael Jordans have been submitted to PSA. Only 316 have gotten a PSA 10. Damn. So more than, and then the article, it doesn't was matter more. the brand, Fleer, or doesn't matter what doesn't it matter was. Matter no, 8687 Fleer, okay. oh, that okay. card, more than 18,000 have been submitted, but only, only 316 have gotten a 10. Shit. I, yeah, I that is to, a low number. When we were at the show two times, like this, remember that one guy <laughs> right, who had the, the row? He, but, he had quite a few. But were they 10s? Did he had ten? like four tens. So he, I mean, shit, he's part so of the market. If right you, there. yeah, if you do yeah, part of the math, of he's got three yeah. percent of the market. Yeah, he's, or he's stupid. got a, he's got a good corner of that market so, right there. Eleven thousand five hundred have been submitted to Beckett. Now this is the next. Then this next part, I don't quite understand. Does she have a headache or? Okay. Five hundred and twenty six got a nine five. We know nine fives aren't quite a PSA ten. Yeah, I, right? that whole game is a weird one. Right, but this is the trip. Six got a black label pristine ten. Six. So what gets it a pr- a black label? Like, I don't know. I've never seen one in person. So here's some tens, some nines, but tens, fifty k. Well, that's not the, quite the same year though. Eighty seven flare. That's the second year. Oh, yeah. 86, 87. 86, 87. Four. Gotcha, That's the gotcha. second year. Gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, second year, 50 grand. So, <laughs> shit. Definitely don't sell that one for 10 bucks. Yeah. By accident. Did you get it in the thing? Or? <laughs> oh, I just wondered. Did yeah. it come out of 13 certified? Uh, I'm yeah. just curious. Shit. This one? That's the, holy hell, that's the sticker. <laughs> a sticker? Oh, my God. So, a PSA 10 Jordan sticker that raw is $300. PSA 10. Sold. Sold. 52 bids. $148,988. For a sticker? Yeah, sticker. Like these guys. Like these guys. Sticker. Right? Yeah, like this shit you put on the table? Yeah. Oh, this is LeBron. I'm taking this. Oh, yeah. You're like peeling this out. Let's grade it. Shit. By the way. So, the one that we have off in grading for a customer, what do you think we're going to get upcharged? Oh. <sighs> See, why do you got, see, like, I was in an, an okay mood. Why? Alcohol was kicking in. Be, why? I just, I just realized, what would be the, the upcharge was $173. <laughs> right. Because it's probably under armed guards, you know? Well, you got to hire, you got to hire the yeah. minimum wage guy who has a. Here's a gem 10. Look at this one. He's got a, you know. He has to carry it in his briefcase. Yeah. Sold. What was that? 800000 Dude. Yeah. The guy is asking. That's not sold. That's what he's, is it? Yeah. That's what he's asking. He's asking. So he's it, trying to set a record. He, he's he asking just saw 800 that. grand. Yeah. And he's well, probably charging $536 shipping. See, he's, and that, he, that, he's in, in first class. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, <laughs> like, just, you might as well add, just say oh, free Lord. shipping and just add that couple bucks into your so price. So my guess is that if you're getting 700 and some Here. odd thousand dollars for a card, yeah, you're going to end up flying your ass to go <laughs> deliver it, right? Yeah. Like if I have a card that I sell for seven hundred grand, I'm not relying on USPS to send it. I'm flying to. I can afford the hundred forty eight dollars Southwest yeah, Airlines ticket. I'm checking. Seriously. I'm checking Charles Schwab to see if I can invest in it, buy some shares. No, you want to do the. Stuff. You want to do the vaults that the Kevin Durant. You yeah, want to yeah, vault that. No, I don't want nothing boy. to do with the Mets owner. He's he, in enough trouble. He's having some problems. Isn't yes, he? he is, buddy. Man, three hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. yeah. And imagine you have like five of these things in your in your, and that's just on eBay. That's if you yeah. do it yourself. Yeah. But if you send it to an auction house, they can double your money. The sad thing is, those were pulled by Gen X guys, but the ones that are making the money are the millennials. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. You know, because we pulled those cards. No, that's true. You know, oh lord, she has a headache right now. Got any clear? Negative. I uh, sold it all. So. Anyway, I thought that I thought that topic was interesting. It's very interesting. You know, it goes hand in hand with cards are insane right now, and the Jordan jumping five hundred thousand more than five hundred thousand dollars in twenty seven days. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm yeah, know. but I mean, just like we last week, I was going over the Brady's and the Mahones, like the Brady's. Right. That's. I mean, that was we're talking. Some of it was like a month apart of being sold, and, and we're talking about base cards. Yeah, graded base cards, yeah. unsigned. 
That's like the majority of Patrick Mahomes stuff to get into that number, it was autographed and jersey pieces. Yeah, we're RPAs. That's for Brady, it doesn't matter. You just put his damn picture on the yeah, damn and thing. Some of it was collegiate and great. Yeah, you put him in a Michigan like, Wolverines uniform. That's, that's what I thought done. was wild. Like, you know, like college unis. Like you if could, somebody tried to sell a legacy pack right now, you know, card of a you a know what would be interesting be is if he wins a Super Bowl, you do a part two. Oh, yeah. You I'd wait love- a week to see what the sales do, and then you do a part two to your story. Yeah, I'm to see what the I'm down. upcharge well, to is. Be, for, to be honest, either one, whoever wins, to see. Right, because both same, those guys are in the Super Bowl. That so that's same a good point. List I didn't think and about just that. Just recheck yep. where their price is. Did they. Good Lord. Did, did somebody sell those Brady cards and did they drop? Now, the ultimate question, and I get this 30 times a day is this sustainable? I think it is. I, to be honest, I think it it might even. What is your reasoning to, for it, though? People ask up. me if I go yes or no. They want to know a reason. I, I think it's sustainable because I, I, the generation that we're in, it's the it's more the mindset of people back then. I didn't like you said the gen the Gen, gen X, X people. I feel like more the work. They're the blue collar. They're the workers. You got this guy. Like social media is is what's driving these cards to keep ticking 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 i think the pandemic's and, helping that too well i i think that's that's helping but i mean we're not getting five hundred thousand dollars of a stimulus money I yeah mean, what I'm is sit- helping that i mean that's i'm not yeah, sitting on I that because the people who are buying those shitly outrageous prices are people who already had money yeah hedge funders and all so kinds of have they, to, yeah. they already had money so you're not all of a sudden coming yeah, no. into 700 grand no. and going the extra I'm, 600 bucks on your unemployment check is not helping you get right. that you're not even on the staff at the auction house so working there Oh hell no! But you know what I'm saying, yeah, I just think. Well, look, you're, you're, you're well what do this. you think? I mean, I think you're slowly going to see a, a, a more of an incline before you see it fall. What do you, what do you attribute I, I, to I, it? I mean, I, think, I know I COVID, think, but I think it's I think it's like like anything else, like anything else that's art related. There's people out there with money. Some people may have to spend it. They need to lose some money or put some money into something, and they're investing in this. Like Is there art. a reason? I mean, though? they're comparing cards to art, man. I mean, they're comparing these cards to like the stuff you see in the Louvre, you know. But is there a reason they're not in Bellingham? <laughs> the people, right? Like, because I want a guy who compares this stuff to art to you walk through the guy, door. You know, this guy lives in some, you know, I, castle in Switzerland. He's, oh, he's I'm just buying it via. I, I know, I question it via everybody. the, uh, you know, via satellite. I'm sure there's people. He owns a satellite in, too. in town who would would spend some, and I think they just not they, at that extreme though. I, not not for not 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 that much money for. Uh, I mean, the trout wouldn't have gotten that much money. Dude, I, I'd pass out. I still think you're... Somebody came in, I'm dropping bad, 100 grand. As much as you've grown in the last year, like you've said over the last month, you're seeing so many more new people. Oh, yeah. yeah and that's true. I, I really think that, you know, this time next year... Like, you were talking about Mill... Holy C- hell. This, talking about Mill Creek, I went in there when they were a shop as big as this. Right. You know? I did, that, too. The baby shop. And now look at their big baller on the West Coast. Hey, like, all I can do is dealing yeah. with all I the Hall of Fames yeah. get their stuff. And I know we're going to talk about this later, but something that I read, okay, even during the Great Depression, the only thing that kept people, you know, alert and keep, you know, kept people going to things and, and entertainment and was sports. Yeah, yep. You know, Secretariat, all that kind of shit, man. Was even if it's a hundred and fifty-four game yeah, back season the, during the Depression. All right. Let's you know, I mean, it was sport that kept everybody yeah. in, in tune with something. But I, I got that from this. I, I agree. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's it. like I said, we've exceeded everything that we expected to do. I have no idea. I, I think you're going to, in I'm the next on. few years. I'm, I'm holding on. I'm saying you're going to, it's going to be on a steady increase. So and we're going to own a block, basically. We're going to own a block. I think, realistically, I think you could have this whole Listen, there's always going to be good football players, baseball, hockey, basketball. There's always going to be players. Dude, there's I'm, all going to be characters. He needs to be around more often. He's like, we're going to own the building. No, I, re- I really think you I'm just waiting the size, for those. The I'm liking that. Shit, if, just think, imagine if you had the po- the freaking pot shop on the corner, if that was your shop. and you, it opened We'd be high as the sky to, right now. Dude, I mean, it's like. Oh. I, I, it would be unreal. Like if you had a window that outlooked into. Dude, James I would have street, him in a costume. It would be. Dude, if you were across sign. the street from Safeco with Dusty flipping the, the, car, yeah. the cardboard thing, you know. And no, it'd be you. Dad, don't do it'd it. You. you know, No, nah, hell no. Yeah, you'd yeah, be sucking it shit. in wearing the Astros but. jersey. I mean, I, I why, every time it. I say sucking it in, you go to your bicep. Why do you do they, that? They barely it's fit. just weird. They barely fit. But I, I see a, a big increase, and I think I hope so. 
I think it's just, you know, the aesthetics you're like you do with the card game. You yep. work with what you have in front of you. I yes. see it going down. So I definitely. <laughs> wow, he's got great news. Yeah. <laughs> that's I, he's not around. That's gonna, there's a reason hey, for hey, that. Hey, hey, I'm just kidding. That's then, just because yeah. he's like you know being in the a, shop more. You know, with the customers, I'm enjoying hearing some of these guys who are like I, you know, I lost the passion for ripping. He's like I. It was it was mentally. We all, all have a story. But no, but he was. He's this is like get to his lentil soup. This was like currently. He was like. I, I was so focused on buying hobby product and trying to make my money and make money off of it. He's like, I lost the enjoyment of just ripping product. And so that's why he, he says he's coming in here and buying all the wax. I don't remember his name, but. Oh, that uh, was Ryan. The Raider guy. Yeah, Ryan. He's he's all about the vintage and wax now, now. And now all he football. wants. Because he, football, 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 baseball, baseball. doesn't matter. He just, he's like. I, I like to sit in my garage and just rip. And but he it, said it, the, the excitement. The thing that he said was there's no pressure. Yeah. I can buy a $7 box and there's no pressure. And and I like I like that. And that's what yeah. the, my buddy for this weekend, he wanted. Huh? Def- land in a rebay in there. And a rebay? rebay? Juan your rebay? Yeah. Remember that? Isn't it a rebay? Oh, Jose rebay. Jose rebay. Uh-huh. Yeah. 1990 Fleer Jose rebay is not <laughs> worth half a mil. Just telling you. So... <laughs> Anyway, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, these two yokels have something to a say. little topic to discuss. Sure. We have our book club first section we're going to discuss. Each of us re- read the same. It's going to be interesting to see if we take away different things or not. Section, right? I think it's going to yes. segue into I think it's going to segue into parenting and those kind of factors Oh too. lord, I don't yeah. need to do that right I now. I understand, but that's just the- and <laughs> by the way, you're going to want to come back because we're going to give out our first Bag of Dicks Award. We have ding, the first ding, ding, winner, ding, 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 ding. so come back and see us. Yep. And we're back. All right. So are we live? We're live. We're All live right, on so, Candid Camera. By the way, welcome to the new format. We are now live when we come out of break on Instagram so people can interact with us. Wave at him. Smile. East, sign, East Coast, West Coast. I don't know. Cling on. I just, I just do mine. He does his. <laughs> he does <laughs> his. He does his finger break. Or like this. All right. Gimping ain't easy. Who wants to go first? Well, I mean, he's a positive thinker. Yeah, I'm a positive thinker. Since since we're live, this will go with sort of instead of doing a poll. I am curious if do we have people actually on. All right, for the people who are actually watching currently. Can they hear him? Me. That's the first thing. Yeah, they probably can't hear me. Can you bring it? <laughs> You're uh, one of the two. I want, Dude, I want the color honest on your teeth. opinion <laughs> or honest <laughs> answer from the viewers. Are you a collector for the passion of your team or the certain player? Are we bailing on the poll? Are well, we? Are we could still pull it, but okay. whoever's on right now, I just want to know. Producer, can we pull that at some point tonight? Like, what's what keeps you in the game? Are you strictly financials, or are you for the passion of the team, hobby, sport? Uh, I I just feel like watching Facebook groups and breaks. I feel like a lot of people are solely in it for the investment only, and I think. That could ruin the hobby. Uh, I just want to know what everybody's feelings are. Like, be real. Like, if you're just trying to be a flipper and like, hey, I'm buying low on eBay so I can flip in two months. Or I'm, I'm just saying. Retail. I'm or just saying. And he made me do it. What were you talking about? Buying buying no, no, no. <laughs> no. Well, I'm curious too. I mean, that's the biggest. I mean, we want to know that. That's the biggest topic today. Are you a collector or are you a flipper? I just. So, I mean, the one person. I, I love her, sweet gal, Celeste. She's she's fallen deep into this, like, to like this flipping. Ho- to, no, to this hobby though. You're giving away but, your secrets, dude. But it's that's a, not bad though. But no, but it's in a weird, it's in a weird way to me. It's it's more. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm gonna jump in this break because I'll take an. I'm gonna take an LT jersey. Well, do you like LT? I, I don't know who he is, is but he's a, he's a football player, right? He makes, yeah, but is that the nature of stuff today? But I mean, but that's, that's but th- but is that the mindset of collectors today? But that's what I want to know. Like, is it just impulsing for the gambling aspect, just purely for the gamble, dude? You, I said it. You're good at this podcast because he totally wrapped my. 
He wrapped it around. Did you see that? Because he wrapped it and put it back to me. It's it's smack it, rivet, rub it down. It's driving Pretty me. Much. It's driving me crazy because I don't like. She's so showing me, me pictures question, of all though. her collection, and I'm like, they're all in a white box. Can you function? That's not a collection. Can, but can you function in this environment if you never get an answer? Yeah, I can. I can function because most likely, right? Because you're not nobody's just your average give, dude. Right? Nobody's going to give. Yeah. Okay. My buddy said it the other day. There's a good chance you're not going to ever get an answer to that. He's like, man. He's like, I love you. When you do things, you do things. Yeah. Like he's, if they he interest, if they interest is, you, he's like you don't. He's D-Mags like you don't shortchange your passion. One hundred percent all the time. There are times I got to sit him down and go, shh, yeah, calm I, down. My wife does that too. And in when I go in, I'm it's full investment. My Grinch thing, anything that I do, I I throw my whole brain and body into it, and it's it's. For but, the, but it's for you, the ever, you ever help out a friend doing something that you have no interest in, but you're helping him out? Yeah. Okay. You know the crazy thing is for your generation. I, in that's a, way, a that's but a in rarity. a way, I'm getting something out of it. I'm getting the satisfaction that I'm helping him. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But for somebody who's opening, or you know, who's just ripping and ripping and ripping and just throwing in a white box, like just got fucking Tourette's. It's driving me crazy because where the hell are you putting this? Like oh, you don't, I see what you're saying. you're, I see what you're saying. truly not collecting it. No, you're, you're hoarding it, it. You're hoarding it, and you're doing it for the one player. That you, but they're not even really? doing it for a player. They're literally just doing it because it's a hot thing. It's a thing right now. I need to get it. I get it. I get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Gotcha. I'm like, but why do you? Like, do, don't it can't be do just it. a like, fad to them. Yeah, but that's that's wrong because <laughs> there's there's people like there's people like me. There's might be a few of them, but who really want to collect certain players, certain teams. But you got these people out there. Who might be pulling the hot shit and God, they're throwing it in their cubbies and they're it's just getting destroyed or it's this guy yeah, here. I, I like the I like what you do. I like this guy's here is frustrated, right? Yeah, it's for me. I get a chance to exercise my demons in the shop. Yeah, you're not in here a lot, right? No, you don't get a chance to. Ex- I mean, because if you were behind the counter more, you would exercise those demons. Yeah, that would be worked out. At the end of the day, you'd be like, I don't give a shit. You know, no, you, I do you know, still give a shit because like, I'd be venting you're, to all you're of you. You're bound up right now because yeah. you can't vent that. He needed to help out the guy that I helped out that didn't let me talk and let let him the talk camper guy. That. Is that who he is? Uh, yeah, yeah, the camper the, guy. You, know now. you needed to be. You, need you needed to help yeah. the camper guy. But it I, will not end it. It will not end. It oh, end, Lord. But it won't end nicely. Dude, I had the same I guy today. I, I had the same guy today. I got a, a Tatis bat that I will end it in one way, shape, or form. It will be you. ended. No, I'll, I'll, I'll throw Haskins it, on you. It will be ended. Street. You'll be mauled. It's just... I, Are I you want, doubling Haskins? <laughs> I just He's want a stealer people, now. He's in his division. I just want people to be in oh, it right. for the genuine... I'm going to tell you right now, those that are involved with Turf and Dirt, I love that passion, man. That is what we are about. But the problem is <laughs> you're going to deal with some frustration because you're yeah. not going to get that back from the <laughs> but wheel. I, I like, don't. I'm dealing with it on a daily basis. You're getting, I mean, oh, I man, I feel for you, man. I feel you. You're the business owner. You're not the guy helping out. You know, you, know, you don't have to really answer to it. When, when I'm trying to, especially right now in – trying to pc and collect like i i've bought how do you balance that though i've God bought 30 man. some odd t higgin hit cards for me i i just couldn't buy half a goddamn rpa of burrow for that price <laughs> like no sh- yeah I, but i i love what you i love what you're doing your pc stuff like when you posted the stuff of higgins and you know, yeah. you're trying to figure out what to do with them are you like one i'm of the totally guys, are you one of the I'm, guys I'm, live yeah okay and i'm totally loving it i'm like it's almost inspired to me. It's almost inspired because, like, you know what? Let me pull out all my Belfours. Let me pull out yeah, all my and guys. And, you know, really. And so for me, nineteen forty. For me, later. getting back into the hobby, the, my mindset with him was: Ten Jordans. A, I'm a fan of his. B, you know, he's a Bengal, and for some reason, I bleed more black and orange than I bleed green and yellow as an A's fan. <laughs> I mean, I, I bleed it tremendously, but it's like. Did you need to get that closer or what? The, uh, oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. You're H- right, oh, HR. right on Tony. He's but, uh, happy with that. Oh, shit. He's back in, right, in the, right in the frame. Getting back in the hobby, I was like, I want to follow a guy for his career. Uh oh. What's, what's the problem? Get my gun. Do I need to get the weapon? Can we tear? That said what? Do we need to go remote? Jeez. Can we tear gas should ourselves? I go, should I go remote? Can we tear gas ourselves? Should I go remote? Uh, uh, but yeah, I 
Should I, I pack this to, with me? I want to no, follow. Seriously, this is this is gonna freak me out. You What's the problem? Oh, and maybe maybe he saw somebody when he left that he thought was sketchy. Oh. But oh, shit. I just I want to sleep at the shop tonight. I just want to follow a guy for his career and try to collect. Like no, I don't won't, even. You pussy. For me, once a guy's a bangle, he's always a bangle. So even if he's ten years in his career and he's on. So Hushmanzada, right? He's had T- why is it the yeah. freaking giants, not just the giants. TJ Hushmanzada, he's had some stops. Yeah, you still collect him. I I would still collect him today. Yeah, Manu? I love that. Huh? Manu? No, TJ. Well, was he a Bengal? Who? Manu. Manu Ginobili. Yeah. No, not Manu Ginobili. <laughs> is it Sanu or Manu? Sanu. Or- Muhammad Sanu. Sanu. Muhammad Sanu. Yeah. I mean, one. Yeah. Once it's like Sanu, got, Marvin Jones, like those. is that only in a Bengals or Falcons? Is that all right? Oh yeah, I no, like I said, I the thing over there. I like for sale. I follow those guys. In the, <laughs> James Wilder Jr. So let, this was a card. She, I don't know where the hell she got this one from. James Wilder. Yeah, so he was he was a running back coming out of FSU, and this was in my like I'm gonna be the next scout or GM for right. Cincinnati. Right, right, so right. I wrote down my whole list of who I want in Cincinnati to draft. Sure, I, I wanted them to draft James Wilder, and I sent it to them. They responded back. They wrote me a letter and said, you know, they loved their list that I came up with, and they actually half the draft they drafted guys that I the had wanted. Bengals? The yeah. Bengals rewrote you, yeah. and said you they loved your draft list, yeah, and they. Why is Ashton Kusher staring at me? <laughs> but yeah, I so is he playing with his I belly sent, button? I sent hair. it to the scouts and they sent it back. But James Wilder ended up going, n- dude. Not, who are you? Yeah, so like seriously, when some I of things, the stories that you come. Who are you? So he. Why not, are you here? He went undrafted. That's an inside from the draft day, huh? Yeah, I'm like yeah, he, that was, like well, they that assumed was, well, that he was, a, was a, that was actually a different. He time. was a Bengals receivers coach. That was a different it's time. Bengals. He said Bengals. But uh, so he went undrafted, but then in. Cincinnati signed him as an undrafted okay. free agent. I remember him. He yeah. is now, he is now like a t- high-paid top-dollar running back in the CFL for the Toronto Argonauts. Like I would collect his card. He's not a Bengal, but I feel like he is, and I got a picture. So you going CFL right cards with him, huh? You doing CFL cards, dude? Well? I, if I could get my I hands, I want to go to. I want to go to a stadium with D Mags. If I, I mean, can get my he's hands, he's going to get a, me into the coaching staff. I'm going to be behind the plate, but Seattle he, Mariners. But he's got to roll like he's in there. Part of the right. Deal, no, right? he's gonna okay. he's gonna roll as the that, as the special him, because, assistant to she, the GM. She but. had a, she had a card of him that she was like, "Hey, I'm going to send give you some of my Bengal cards," and it was a hit card of his. And, and he's got some he's got some orange right up in the nostril. Yeah. Like that's some, but he, that's some that's sick some Yasiel Puig stuff. Right there, his bro. skill set was phenomenal. I would have loved to keep him, but yeah, I'm Does glad he he's see in there. I'm Did glad he's tearing it up up in. Canada. Did you just put a finger but up at me? That's what I'm saying is the passion. Like I Niger, please. Maybe maybe I'm too passionate about things, but you're I just, passionate, you're passionate about your bangles. Yeah. I'm passionate about what I'm passionate about. That's right. You that's, should yeah, shut up. That's yeah. what it's like. I just it, said it is, it. Shut it, up. It, it is what it is, but it's that's that's just what I want to see more. I I want to see people not But so I'm gonna tell you right now, they're spinning all of dollar. us need a little bit of that passion in our life. Especially you. We do. Especially you. Oh, I got the passion. Oh no, you don't. I got the passion. Not on his passion. You have the, you have the, you know, retirement home passion. Hey, and TJ, who's you're like, you're like happy with tapioca pudding. You're like, yeah. I love T- tapioca. TJ, I wore tapioca. <laughs> I wore TJ's jersey one day just to watch a game at home and posted it on on Instagram. Did he respond? And he responded. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Once a Bengal, always a Bengal. That's and when I when I watch my Giants play, if I wear their any any gear of theirs. They lose. When I take it off at halftime and they come back and win, every time. Do you post time. it? Do you post it? That's why I'm not wearing anything. I'm going for the Bucks, and I'm not wearing anything. Buccaneers. That's why he's wearing an Astros, Nolan Ryan, hope he dies of a heart attack jersey. I'm going for the Chief <laughs> With the, What kind of haircut does he have? The Skullet. Skullet. But is that what anyways, it is? That's what I, that's what I call it. Right. I've, I've always just, called it a Skullet. You heard it here first. All right. Was that so, your topic? My topic is just passion. Passion. Have passion. some damn passion about the hobby. If you don't have passion, escort side door left. Now, let me ask you a question, though. LCS owner, is it weird if he has a passion? No. You have a passion? Dude, <laughs> the amount of people that give me crap about my passion is... It's a white in- passion. <laughs> can he, can he say that? Can I, he, hold on. No. But it, can he say that? 
it's a it's a rollback tape. I think, oh yeah, hold on. Can we reverse that? I think LCS even more so should have a passion. And I, you know, I know you say that you can't. Dude, I'm about to love this. I know you say you can't be a collect. You can't be a collector as an LCS. I'm but putting yes, this to my mouth. Yes, you can. Look at him. Look at the collection like, this guy has. But this is not like he's a fan of a team. Like you could still yeah, PC, sure. like you, you sure. could still PC that. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. you don't have to part. Like, but I mean, Dusty you said have a if, count. How many Evan Weiss do you have? Dusty did say like, if you pulled that one it? of one Torkelson, he's a Detroit through and through guy. He said he's selling it. I get it. Is that about the next flip though? I mean, I I get it. Or the next rip. He's yeah. He's probably thinking, well, do I need that one of one? Can I get the out of three? That's worth it. I get I get that. If I pull the one of one burrow, you I I may be butt ass naked running up and down the street like you won't pull a twenty seven of ten of burrow. I can't. Everybody else does it and it gives it twenty seven. I, I can't pull a <laughs> fucking rookies and stars base guy. <laughs> Burrow's so, been a drought for you. Yeah, what happened and, to that Burrow's auto that was there, that college one. That, that, that was an I LSU laundry. Yeah, he's, oh, not a, he's not a. He wants he's not a. He wants that one. I want the adult tiger, not the baby tiger. Yeah, oh, he okay. wants the. Yeah, I want, the, want the tiger, on. not the cub. And but with my T Higgins. By the way, you see the sticker I put in your locate yeah. locale. But with the T Higgins collection, yeah, I tagged he got him. the USA. He he did not he did not give me any love. I was hoping for maybe a a shout out for my, my man crush collection that I got going on. The but T Higgins. T Higgins. Once they release in April, those new jerseys. Uh, oh, yeah. Are you all over coming, it? New they, stripes. They got new I need a new, yeah, new stripes coming in April. Just like yours. I'm ready. I'm ready Flex for some new bicep. stripes. What do you? <laughs> what do you got, Tony? Sh- Go ahead. Show Tone. me the passion of Christ. It is now. So, before we get into Pete Rose, by the way, you guys can follow along. We are reading Play Hungry, Pete Rose. Just completed section one. We are the one. first section in. But if you guys want to follow along on Instagram, you can get this book. Follow along. Interact with us while we're reading it, yeah. right? I mean, that's Kinda the like point. Oprah. That's the point. <laughs> I knew somebody Can was going to bring that. If up. you're Oprah, I'll be Gail. How about how about when Baker? He's, does well, we're kind of lesbian. Baker, how about when he's like, a bit. he could be? He's Stedman. Just, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he's Stedman. He's the guy off in the distance in the in the the he's photo. Got, like, he's taking care of the dogs. Seen, <laughs> have you seen Stedman's little house on her property? Oh, it's like no. a mansion, dude. Oh. It's little, little mini little house is that what you're expecting is a mansion on next to the mini house the outhouse he gets yeah. the outhouse he, he just wants a Cuban he wants a hey, he wants a gas stipend the hobo sh- down the road probably got an extra outhouse made out of pallets and whatnot for and you cardboard from the back <laughs> yeah they got their their wallpaper that, by the way? their wallpaper how's is the, actually how's cards the, yeah, how's, no the, shit. Uh, how's the garbage stuff coming along I mean, we haven't had any wow everything well, in have, and dirt is coming like coming around and just Fixing itself. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we we pull guns on people and do the thing, but tear gas. <laughs> you know, tear gas. Yeah, <laughs> kinetic rounds. D- yeah. Dusty said you have to magazines take that, that weapon with you this weekend. You cannot leave it with us. Oh no, no 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 no! I'm taking that with because <laughs> I'll start to get text messages. Dusty, like, the alarm we just go got off. some shit bounced the, off our ass. Dusty yeah. started to count how many years in jail he was. They're like, we got tear gas. What happened? Oh, we I don't got know. We, we got smoke yeah. coming out. Hit it with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with the best shot. But the point of the book club before people start making fun, like and just to interact. We want to interact with you guys. Yeah. You guys get a chance to do what we do on the show. Get the book, play hungry, Pete Rose. We're gonna talk about it here in a little bit, but we're dying to hear Tony's top. We are My topic is simple. We are on needles and pins, pins and needles. Here we go. Simple. Let's go. <coughs> what do you got? He's what do got, you got? What do I got? I got to go to my notes. He's got, oh, oh, he, I got my notes. Did holy you, hell. Did you talk it in? And by the way, uh, pretty soon notes. we are. So with all these trades going on, NBA, you know, and NFL, how does this affect the players' cards after they've switched to a better team? Or just, you know, have been traded or – Sent to other other places to play. Good question. That that have a better chance at achieving something that wasn't achievable, really. With I'm going to let you take this first. So, so from what I'm gathering and I mean in, the, and in the social media world and what I'm seeing is I'm people's views up. is – so there's an age difference. There's okay. A, there's, a, there's an age difference. That's Sta- right. But yeah. Stafford is – 
is past his his. I I still think he has a great you know four or five years probably of playing. But he's past his prime. But he's past that sexy time. So, Goff, sexy time. You should see Goff. Goff's girlfriend. Thong. He, the whole thing. He, he's in that sexy time right now. He's got a thong. So he still has the potential to have Suck that in. career to take off. And so right now I'm seeing everybody in search of golf cards. That's who they're chasing you know after. What, you know what freaks me out though is the amount of first round picks that went along. Like, yeah, but Matt Stafford is in the latter half of his career. Like, a good you're looking, he's a good quarterback. He no, he is. I mean, you get a good team around him. Yeah, right. Who knows but the what can thing happen? Is, but is that they acquired man, that's all golf these with draft a couple first packs rounders when they like, dished people hell. out of there. Yeah, I mean, true. you put Brady on the Jets, and nothing's happening. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Positive. Dude, there's two people going at it. I don't know. Like you if, put, I mean, so you put Brady you on put, the Jets with the team they had. No, dude, you put Brady on the Bucks. Who was the? Who was the? Chris Godwin, really? Mike Evans. Mike Evans, dude. Oh, he was injured though most yeah. of the year. But, like my buddy keeps, he's buying. Yeah, you can wipe that. He's you buying big it. on on Denzel Mims because of. So this is going along with you, because he feels Watson is headed to the Jets at one point. Really? So he's buying. Heavy. Oh, he's that's brutal. He's trying to track down as much Mims as he can because of a trade that might happen. What I read today was Goff's and Stafford's stats mm-hmm. for the year are almost neck and neck with Stafford. Of, Obviously, making less mistakes, less interceptions. You know, Stafford's and, and, and a deep he's, ball and he's guy. More consistent. So he, he's more that deep ball threat. So the thing is with the Rams' offense is they're all intermediate route guys. Yeah. They're slant route guys. Nobody is a go get them. No, they don't have a Tyreek Hill. They got rid of Tavon Austin. They don't have that go guy. So in the draft, if you see them draft a go guy. Cooper Cup. That's where they're going. Cooper Cup is a slanter. The one thing I was He's surprised about, guy. though, is to hear that Stafford had an 0-3 record in the playoffs. I well, remember one time he made yeah. <laughs> but he was. I watched him but in But with a different playoff. quarterback, you know what the playoff record would be for the Lions? 0-0. I like Stafford. I, I think like they would it. have zero, zero times in the playoffs. But the bottom any. line is the question basically was, yeah, how does it affect their sports cards? And I think it affects. It just depends on where they are in their career. You know, like it, it if they've already been. He's a sta- number one pick. If they've already been established with Stafford, how are his so? Are but let's let's yeah. look at the glaring option, and that's Peyton or not Peyton Manning. Holy hell, Tom Brady. Yeah, but Brady right? was Brady was his career. Like so, they just showed recently they divided his his twenty years. Sure, first ten years he had a Pro Bowl career. He could have retired after 10. He already had five Super Bowl would've appearances. Been super, yeah, five been Super Bowl appearances. Fame, that would have been three, it. Yep. Three Super Bowl trophies. Second part of his career, five Super Bowl appearances, and currently three Super Bowl trophies. So he's already had, he Shit. already had two separate careers. But what does that and, and say, a, though? Be, being a Giants fan, how many, years has, how many years has he been in the NFC? One, yeah. One. one. And how many, how, many AFC, how many NFC championships yeah. has he played in? One. One. <laughs> Cowboys have been in how many yeah. NFC championship games in, in, in the last yeah. five years? Oh, yeah. None. None. Yeah. Anyway. But so, and the big thing on your trading is everybody's saying half the league is going to have new starting quarterbacks next year, whether it's via the trade or. Seattle. Yeah. So if you named, I mean, you could probably name 12. And there's 32 teams. You maybe can get 12 guys that you can say, if they come back next year, they're for sure starters. Are you surprised? Seattle. Would you be surprised if Russell got traded? No, like under the no. rules. <laughs> I I wouldn't be surprised if if. So how how would Russell? Let's say hypothetically speaking, Russell gets traded to whoever. Okay, what does that do to the market? His market on his it de- cards. It depends on if he goes to a. Obviously, in this region, it'd be hard. <laughs> if if he goes to a higher caliber team, if <laughs> if he goes to the Jets, your accountant ain't gonna be doing much. To <laughs> <laughs> right, there ain't nothing happening. You know? If he goes to a you know a playoff contending team. Then I think the sky they definitely go. They keep going because he's already he's already established. I'm not a fan of his, but he still he still has some more hurdles, you know, some more check marks to to check and some boxes to check. Well, if, I don't know. And now, whole, they, and now they've come across the Giants and the Deshaun Watson thing. Yeah, they're talking for Deshaun 
Saquon and Daniel Jones. You saw that? I saw and that. A, and a first round yeah, pick. Yeah, and a first round pick. Just for day, for Deshaun. I wow. wouldn't do that. Man, I wouldn't do brutal. that. You're crazy. I Man, that is. That. Br- I mean, Saquon you, alone you would is to, worth four first rounders. No. But, oh, yeah. But oh, I. Yeah. You see his guy's thighs? So, Shit. like, you're you're looking at a lot, <laughs> you know, a lot of quarterbacks who still are going to be moving via trade. Um, I think Sam Darnold could be moved if they acquire Watson. Sure, sure. Uh, I mean, Drew Locke. I'm looking forward to the offseason. I think Drew say. Locke could, could be moved. I think do- Deshaun Watson, that's his spot. He so w- does it affect the sports cards? They're, yeah. They're yeah, oh, cards. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Rookie a lot of people else. are buying Watson, too, because of they think that he's going to go to a spot that he's going to compete and he's going to excel. I think if Watson goes to Denver, they compete with Kansas City for the division. I, I think it's that huge of a – Jerry Judy and KJ Hamler, Cortland's, I mean, they have the offensive weapons with a good defense. I think that that would be my ideal spot for him to go. So let me ask you a question. I don't know if it's with the Giants or the Bengals, but is there is there as much talk of bandwagon fans as there are with Seattle? I had a topic today with a local customer. No. We talked about no. bandwagon fans, no. wearing jerseys, the whole thing. No. It got to I, me thinking, like, I haven't heard of bandwagon fans with Bengals but so, fans so or yeah. Giants I th- fans. I think, no, it doesn't. I think I think the bandwagon fan starts with certain teams like but what that, would, that have a soft spot like the Cubs had. Because it seems like, like Seattle fans. has a lock hold it's of bandwagon of, fans. It is. And I think it's it's more so fair weather. They might say, well, I've always, I've always been a fan. Okay. Great, All you right. were a, uh-huh. you were a fan for ten years at the beginning of your life, yeah. and then twenty years you disappeared, and now you're back. That doesn't mean that you were a fan. So I have a customer today that bought a LeBron James piece from me, but he talked about being a diehard Seattle fan, mm-hmm. and every time he goes to Southern California where his family was, he rocks Seattle gear. And he looked at me, knowing I'm a Seattle fan, mm-hmm. I won't do it unless it's old school colors, Steve Large and jerseys. Kenny Easley, Jim Zorn. Jim Zorn, I'm not doing it. And the reason why, and he seemed to understand it, which blew me away, I don't want to get lumped in with the fucking bandwagon fans. Yeah, sure. Like, it drives me insane because the majority of the guys you see yeah. walking down the street in a Seahawk jersey have no idea anything about Seahawks. Yeah. They're, I don't want to get lumped but, in with that. But even if, you ha- even if they have an idea on Seahawks, it doesn't mean great. But what, what blows how me far away back is, does your memory go? Is I don't hear anything about Bengals fans having that problem or Giants fans. It no, seems like it, Seattle it, it, is the only team that has that problem. Do you hear the Saints having that issue? Negative. No. Any team that has Green a Bay. soft spot for somebody who hasn't won. No, Green Bay, forget about it. Green Bay doesn't. Green Bay's Green fa- Bay, they don't have she's scribbling they don't have furiously over there, by the way. If do I we have had, questions? No? Oh if, shit! If I had to think of another, just, hook, me yeah. up, hook me up. If I had to think of another team that bu- Buccaneers, uh, there are people coming out of nowhere who now are Bucks fans. Now, yes, but six months ago, no. Yeah, no. When Brady got signed, they were coming in. They oh were, yeah, it they, was. They because they wanted to jump on the the train before it took off. They they knew there was a hope and a dream coming their way. But see, that pisses me off though, because like Giants fans are legitimate, right? Everybody loves Even them. Jets fans are despite legitimate. how see, much Jet they are, suck. Jets Jet fans, fans. Okay, are but hold on. If you listen right now, how many Jets fans do you hear? None. But if if Watson goes there and you start oh, hearing Lord. and you start hearing oh, Jets right. fans, those motherfuckers are are bandwagon fans. <laughs> like freaking right, <laughs> oh, frickers. So I there is. I mean, I Seattle, it. Punk frickers. Shut up. Seattle definitely is just. I don't know. That's the part no, that sucks because I don't feel like there's fans. legitimacy. North, they're fair weather yeah, fans. It's just bro. fair weather. I don't fans. feel there's legitimate. I they, mean, it's they all just bandwagon. It's they don't bullshit. stay on bandwagonism. The, they jump off. Yeah, that's a when, thing. It's like, convenience. Is convenience fans? It is. <laughs> the funny part is, I talked to the guy at Pro Image. Right? You know Jason. this because you, yeah, yeah. He's like, the day after a playoff game sucks. I'm like, well, shit. Why is that? Because everybody, when the Seahawks lose, return their jerseys. Yeah. I'm like, I lived it. Do you see that with like no Saints so, fans? Nope. Do you no, see that no, with no. Texan fans? Nope. So I Seahawks fans. Yep. He I goes, lived the original it. the original start of this all when the they went to the the Super Bowl oh, against the Steelers. Lord, should have won that game. 
and that's when I first got the feel of it because we didn't carry. I managed just sports. I didn't. We barely had you know a selection of Seahawks sure. stuff. Then it got closer to playoff time. Man, to to we had just all the players. Bangle stuff. Every dance shit. We I couldn't even convince them to bring me in a bangle item. But every player, I you damn, you could have got yourself some lineman jerseys. I had every player in there, and they were coming off. Just with Chicago, you could have a Richie Incognito and a Seahawks jersey. They were they were flying off the shelf, and everybody had to come in. You know, I had all the local pubs. Anyone was coming. I need to buy some raffles. I need to do do this just to draw my attention. So it's like they knew what was going on. People were jumping on it. The funny part is I went in there. So the question is, the answer is, it doesn't affect their cards? It does. It, it does. It, it definitely does. I mean, but that's why I said right now. Yes. Especially with newer people into the hobby. like, And I'm talking about just new, never collected before, jumping in now. Yes. And they're seeing these Clara traits. or Sarah or whatever. Yeah. Well, she's she's a collector. Clara, really? Well, well, nice. But Sarah? like, pay attention. But they're, jump, on, that's just they're jumping yeah, sure. in and they're trying to catch the right wave. Sure. Absolutely. Who Can I get GameStop? Can you know they're w- w- they're trying to get it at the right time? They want to know who they're going to take the risk. GameStop, right? Sell yeah. now. Sell. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. So they're trying to take the right gamble, but once one hundred percent is just pure gamble. So just for yeah. argument's sake, just for argument's sake, though, I went into Pro Image the day after Seahawks lost. I asked, "What was the line like?" It was out the door. How many returns? Everybody. Come DK. On. No, I'm dead serious. DK Russell. They're all returning their jerseys. He goes, I had like $380 worth of returns within why, the first five minutes why of do opening you think, the gates. Why do you think TJ Maxx has so many good jerseys? Good Lord. Because all these stores return to vendors. But yeah. I feel bad because I kind of lied. He asked, how many returns did you have? Oh, I had a lot. I feel bad. I have a, Yeah, they were returning cards. They were pissed. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I left there going, shit, I lied to the guy. But that's no. all right. That's right. right. That's okay. It was for a good cause. Jason doesn't understand. You fibbed. Yeah. You fibbed. He wants to be on the podcast, by the way. Would you guys get along? Yeah. I like Jason. We're going to have him. Seriously. Nice. Yeah. It's coming. Redhead. Yes. Sit him on this side. Hell yeah. Yeah. He can be next to Tony. Get him him right next to him. Warm warm and cozy. We have questions? Questions. We have questions? Is that another man crush? We have answers. I don't have man. I don't. I don't have man crushes. When are we bringing back pro- space? When are I we have bring- product don't. crushes. When are we bringing back space 1999? Yeah. <laughs> so do we want to talk about Pete Rose before we get into questions? Or? Questions first. Let's just take a couple questions. Oh, sure. really? And then we're going to hang You guys at, are on at, the at, same at, page. At the, oh, end, of, at the end of this, after the book, don't, our, pro- our Super Bowl predictions. Dude, don't hit, okay. on, my, don't hit on my paper. All right, go, Stace. That's it. Okay. Don't massage it. That's weird. Dude, you didn't make Is my Kyler belly Murray feel weird. going to be better than Russell Wilson, yes or no? Who? Kyler. You ask this guy, yes. You ask this guy, no. You ask oh. me, no, yes. Sonic is not going anywhere. <laughs> Dude, I really wish they would make a shirt because he is the epitome. And you know what? I, I don't He's know the why. epitome I agree of with Sonic. Oh, like he dude, is his, like the it's pitter patters, man. Yeah. It's like little. Th- but I think he has the better skill set. Dude, am I watching different football than you guys? I think he has a better You're skill set, a but. Sumo? They're, Sumo? It's the mentality. Pringle, yeah, Pringles is pretty dope. But it's Pringles is dope. It's definitely Jason? the different the different mentality. Russell brings that the the leadership. I think So Ky- if you ask me, Kyler's still lacking the leadership. But if you're looking in card investment, Kyler Murray hands down. Yeah. Pure investment. Kyler Murray hands down. I uh, I think just Dude, because I'm one of them. But the type sure of, you are. <laughs> The type of cards that are being released during Kyler Murray's rookie year compared uh, to Russell Wilson's rookie year. Yeah, well, I mean, year. Russell's got some some action. He's got some action, but I think it's it's hitting big. But I, I think Kyler Murray, he has the skill set. I think he's still got some some hurdles. You know what to get sucks over. though? I haven't seen a Kyler Murray jersey yet. Have you? No, I, want, I haven't seen one. I want a black one. And so do I. But there, honest, what right. I also thought was pretty cool, I never thought, I know this is a, a racial thing, but he, dude, cover. He's a, he's, he's Korean. He's, he is, he what? Is, it, it's funny you say that about Kyler because check dude, out what the Giants had said dude, when they played. I can't him. afford. Like, yeah. <laughs> dude, you're doing racial shit. Said. I can't do it's that. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, no, that's 100%. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's he's he's like you Sonic. know how many lawsuits would have happened if they said Russell Wilson was like Sonic the Hedgehog. But I, 
I thought that was cool. I think you don't see very many Asian that's like des- the stripe Asian descent players in in the NFL or really in. You know, uh, I just like the fact NBA. that a guy that was taken, he was going to be what number he, one overall to the Oakland was. Athletics. Yeah, he was going to be in the outfield. Ouch. Yep. Ouch. Not a shortstop, but I'm bumps. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but a bump. He, he is a shortstop, but. I, I think invest, soup. invest in Kyler, but don't uh, don't go too crazy. Don't go overboard, but yes, if you have a choice between a Russell or Kyler, Kyler, investment. yes, yes. Okay, next question: Did Jimmy used to collect Dan Marino? Um, if you're talking about kid collecting, yes, Dan Marino was one of my staples. The, the class, one, class of '83. Dude, can I talk without you interrupting? Do you want to? You want to pull? You want to suck? Pull the answer. So yes, I did collect the Dan Marino. The problem was I couldn't afford the eighty-four tops Dan Marino rookie. What? Do you have tops, it now, dude? I do not. Would you go get it? Yes. Could we look? Let's see. Eighty-four. Let's see, I'm gonna buy it right now. It's a right here. Shut up. I don't, I'm not talking to you. Shut up. 84. 84 tops, Dan Marino rookie. Yes, I did collect him as a younger collector, but no, I do not. What was the question? Collect Dan Marino. Correct. As a ute. As a. <laughs> Shush. Okay, next question comes yes. from Dusty. Oh, God. <laughs> He's drunk. He doesn't drink. No. <laughs> if they. Like, can you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Here's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes. Do you think retail will eventually give as much value as hobby? No. no. <laughs> the fact that somebody would ask that with a with, did he have a straight face? Do we know? Well, I got a laughing emoji. Okay, so so 1984 PSA nine. Dude, I don't do PN. I don't do. I don't do graded. I don't, well, can great. you find a raw one? Dusty grades. They don't do, do me here. A favor. Eighteen dollars and sixty cents. Thirteen day bid. Sold. So, Jimmy doesn't bid either. It's a buy it now. Uh, it's a buy it now. I don't grade. Grading sucks. Um, Raw. Uh, no retail. What bucks. was the question? God, do you will think retail that like, retail will it, eventually give as will much value as hobby? From last show? <laughs> no. no, no. Even though people are chasing those random inserts in Prism, but so I had a guy ask me today. Next week releases Donruss Optic Football, right? Correct. Yes. Yes. Right. Really? Did you really just do I, that? I'm, I want some. So explain to the people if they didn't see it. I was full witness. I drop he, my. He dropped his phone and fist pumped. Yes. Why are you excited about that? Because I. You can't be excited about the hobby. It's nine hundred dollars a box. That's fine. Oh god. That's fine. I just. The second award. <laughs> I I like. I'm more the chromey. So style guy. I the, like the flashier. The father who collects with his son asked me today, how much is it going to be? And yeah. I said, the last time I was told, it was nine. Oh! Damn, he pulled my eardrum. <laughs> Shut up. He screamed like a it's girl? It's eight. Really? Go ahead. A freaking... I'm okay. I recovered. So he actually recoiled and was shocked at the price. He's still going to buy. And he goes, what is the chances of us finding retail? I said. It's already out. Any, and it's been but out. any retail at this point forward with a product like Donner's Optic, you're never going to find it. Yeah. Because the hunters are hunting for it. I was hunting. <laughs> he goes, "Well, I found some contenders because it's contenders. Because contenders are the chicken tenders, right? Like you're optic. Come on, dude. Let's see if I can find how, how much people are selling retail uh, sellers oh, right I'm now. I already have a headache. Probably about basketball pricing. I need a marshmallow. Yeah, I mean it's it is pretty. It is pretty crazy. Oops. I don't do graded. It was sixty nine dollars, sixty nine ninety nine. I found a raw one. Yeah, but there, it's, it's definitely. Did you just wheeze out there? <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to match retail or to hobby pricing, like for hits, especially because there's still no auto. Like, I think very if it, rarely if it on matches auto. retail, if it if hobby matches retail, the market is doomed. Yeah, that is the. I mean, if you know that they're this. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely doomed at that point. <laughs> really? Mosaic cellos, contender cellos. <laughs> you got the. Oh, I'm not even going to do it. I can't, I can't find the. <laughs> oh, what do we got going on? 
Oh no! Are you ready? Like I can't, a, I can't, yeah. I can't, there was a, I can't work there under was these make, conditions. There was I a, can't do it. There was a I make just, an offer on the uh, six hundred dollars. Yeah, so you did like eighty six cents. I said thirty two dollars and ninety six cents, like Walmart price. Gee, I can't, I can't work under these conditions. You'd be surprised. The guy said yes. Shut up. He did not say uh, yes. Imagine that. Well, then I get it for thirty seven dollars. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Did you have a question? Is this Dusty again? There's only one person. Is Dusty the like next nine questions or no? Okay, okay. He's not even on. She makes shut up. Okay. Are you making him up? Hold on, I have to pause kids' messenger video chat. So forty dollars a pack for a solo. For a what? Don or soft? Yeah. How was that out already? How is that out already? That's what I'm saying. Retail's been hitting before like hobby. Two weeks prior. And it used to be flipped. Yeah, now it's been early and so I can't. So that goes to, that to the another reason that they get the Shut up. bag of dicks. Penny? They did For it with other con- reasons, but yeah, okay. They did it with contenders, too. Fine, what? Yep. It's contenders. Yeah. By the way, we might <laughs> Hello, we might have Brown. some mega boxes coming in tomorrow. So of contenders, yeah, just I, letting you know. I'm just letting you know I'm going to break everything while you're gone. Probably. Well, fuck. You know, I'm going to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do mixers. Okay, so oh, like, a shit. like a junkie. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, a little mixer. Let's go. New G has. Are she thinking? Did she? Did, did she have a stroke? She fart. Are you all right? Did she fart? Let's go. Do we have a question? Nope. It was Paris. What? Is somebody... Oh, look at that question right there. Oh, Holy cow. What? What is it? It's not it's really a, a question. A it's a very detailed comment. Oh. Um. <laughs> read it. Read it. You're looking at me like what? So the. Are you trying to? Are you trying to cushion me? What are we going? No, on? I'll my read it. N- nephew keeps video chatting, trying to video chat, so I keep denying it. Oh. And Are you talking pausing. about Tate? Yes. Um, All right. Bring Tate on to a dual live. I that one. So, Dude, I ideas for the podcast. Shorten an episode no longer than an hour. Love you guys, but ramble too much. So much. <laughs> F, star, 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 <laughs> D, star, star. You said it 15 times in an episode. It's too much. Shorten it up. Who said that? A bunch of letters. I don't even know who it is. How do you feel about that? Don't watch us. F it. Shorten it up. Stop talking. Well, hold on. Why lentil hey, soup? Uh, well, how do I feel about it? <laughs> hey, Why should we, we shorten hey, it up? Though? We have our moments. Well, well, an hour. I mean, it's most but, podcasts are an hour. But guess what? What? It, there's a, there's a pause fuck. button. We ain't live. Oh shit! Pause it and come back later. Watch it oh, another time. God, I'm with you. Or watch thirty. Watch one hour one day. Yeah. yeah one hour the go. next. Shut I don't up. give and then a, the other seven hours of that same episode. I don't give a damn if if oh. you don't if you think we babble and ramble, then oh, don't listen to check, us. Check the eyebrows. Dude, yeah, he's no, that's angry. It's shit. dumb, but it's not, it's not like a scary angry. He, no, he. It's kind of scary. No, it's, it's like serial killer. Angry. It's oh. it's dumb. I yeah. don't like. I don't. Why? That's not a critique. If you critique what we talk about, great, go for it. We critique the like length, the, like the quality of what we yeah, talk to about. Critique the length or that we battle. That's stupid. Yeah, this is then. Don't li- you're obviously watching us. <laughs> don't do it then. Like you, the you five viewers that we have. Cool. We said it fifteen times during the during the ask the questions. Shut segment. up. No, that's because she can't. She doesn't know about the episode. If you tally, if you tallied and you wanted to sit through and tally, like I bet you you've missed one. So fuck. But here's the issue: no, we got I counted three, eighteen last episode. No, here's the issue: we got three individuals, yeah, who are passionate about what we're talking about. So there's a chance there's going to be some overlap. But and there's also you know what? There's also Shit. a chance for you to not give a damn. So sorry, there's some overlap. Who gives a flying? But we're not. Pro- or you know what? Just have a cocktail and, and sit back. But in. we're not produced. Like, we're not whatever. making a dollar. We're not making a cent. We're doing this just. We are producing for whatever this ourselves, we want to do, right? Like this is us. So, so if you don't like I just, us, I don't. Yeah. Joe Rogan is available. Yeah, my feelings are deeply hurt. Joe Rogan curses a lot. Wait, I got a. They're was that deeply, you? Deeply, deeply hurt. All right, that's me. So apparently, I got to look at my phone every five seconds, like but, this asshole over here. But all right, yeah, go ahead. No more questions. Any more? Are, we, are you cutting Pete, it off? Right? You're just like, fuck it, cutting yeah. it off. All right, Nobody so listens. we're going to talk about Pete Rose. Yeah, bag of dicks. Pete Rose, play hungry. We're going to talk about what we took away from what we've read up to this point. 
who sound effects. Start? Here we go. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so I've never been a big Pete Rose follower. Like I respect his game. You too, uh, huh? Yeah, I. I've never. So let me ask you though. You were on board with the idea. Yeah, but I, the first book, I mean, was a little rough, right? The first chapter. I mean, what do you mean rough? Well, I mean, you're not a Pete Rose fan. No, it's I not mean, that I'm not a fan. I just didn't. Well, I, mean, fo- I wasn't a follower. Sure, not I mean, a, I get not it. a. Yeah. But what did you take away from what you read so far? I I have a different view of him. Sure. And so I I actually liked it because I liked what he kept saying. At the beginning of it, he just kept saying, "I'm going to give the truth. I'm not going to. There's no. I don't need to lie. I don't need to say sure, anything differently." He's like, "I apologize for what I did. You know, he's like, if sure. there's things I could change, I would change them." He was honest, and I, you know, it's just like the Kinseiko book. Just it's spitting out. It may not be what people want to hear, but they did what they did. Um, I liked the connection that he really had with his father. Yeah, whether it was abrasive to some, you know, I'm in that situation where I'm hard on my kids. Sure. And yep. I got, you know, my boy's mom who are sitting there saying, don't do that. You know, you need to, you know, pat him on the back and say didn't do the, next time. The skates and coming back home with boxing gloves. Yeah, and no, that's no. no. Right. But I, I I liked that aspect. Um, it was in, interesting part that I thought was the amount of major leaguers that went that he played with. Sure. That ended up going with it was like nine major leaguers and four or five of them turned into be uh, managers in yep. the in the league. Then he wasn't even a good baseball player. Like he was uh, he out hustled yeah. everybody. But he's the one thing that I I want to live by in the sense is why walk when you can run. I like that. And I love. Do you remember who he talked about modeling that too? I can remember the name now. Do you remember? Come on, no. come on! It, there was the Ed, or the the one guy who made it to the pros, it was and it was supposed to be much be- better than him. He was the superstar guy, and he played in I the. I can't pronounce in, his last name. In the, the other guy became a priest. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, and that was interesting. So the well, part the, I the part I took away was so I there were two books that I know of that Pete Rosa put out. Mm-hmm. The first one was very similar. I read it. A lot of stuff he talked about baseball. I was, I mean, I modeled a lot of my coaching behind what he talked yeah. about. Hustle, you know, the it was more baseball oriented, but he talked about his dad. And, you know, it seemed like a repeat, but the part I loved was he got more in depth with his dad. I didn't realize that semi-pro ball shit was as big as it was, right? I mean, guys that were in their 40s mm-hmm. that could play still. Could play baseball, football, yeah. basketball, boxing, and yeah, and box. I mean, what Pete Rose boxed when he was twelve, but yeah. competed in the sixteen-year-old division, right? I he mean, fought a twenty-year-old, and he was scrawny. Well, I I liked the story of the Don Zimmer. Yeah, like uh, that was sort of his, you know, the elder states. He was ten and years how he got to him. meet all the yeah, he was you like know Roy Campanella Jackie and all Robinson those guys yep. and. and uh, Pee Wee Reese, but you know, he said Don Zimmer was the backup to Reese and was never going to get to play. You know, and he said when they would go to the games early on, he would s- be sitting in the nosebleeds. But then when the Dodgers came into town, they were sitting behind yep. the dugout and got to meet everybody. And and like, they were talking about he was very particular about his dad in the paper. Did you you remember that part where he was talking about? I'm going to tell you this story. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to. BS it, yeah. but he's like, my dad was the headline. It was 42 year old, you know, running hard. Oh, yeah. You know, you don't get that today. No. Where do you find that today? For me, it was he short sold himself. He didn't have sure. size, stature. Yeah. He, he wasn't said a fast, that a lot. He wasn't. Yep. A, so he had to kind of overachieve. Okay. When he was a football he, player. When he was a football player, he had to overachieve because it was a sophomore year. He didn't even make a team. No, he, yeah. well, his grades. He said yeah. two, two, well, he two out get, of his four years. He was going to give up play. school, just you know, overall, just yeah. to, he could play sports. But um, the fact that his father still believed in him and always supported him no matter what. Um, but as long as he kept that integrity, of, you know, of running and hustling and playing, he I mean he chose catcher so he can touch the ball every day, yeah, yep. every time. Yeah, he had some sort of control. And he of said the game. those are one of the positions he never played in the yeah. major leagues. Yep, you know. 
And uh, I was just, it was just, you know, raising raising kids nowadays. I mean, this this the thing is, you see these angry parents and yelling at their kids and forcing them to play and this and this and that. And some can look at his story and say, hey, that was kind of the same thing. His father wanted him to do sports. I mean, the mother was, you know, she was in charge, he, of, the, she was in charge of the money. She sends him and, and his father to go buy shoes for his sister. Yeah. And they come back with boxing gloves. His, yep. The difference is you know? kids nowadays that are forced to go play, they don't want no. to play. Right. But this was somebody who he was forced to play who wanted, wanted to, to play. play. Like, right. this was And believed in what his father was preaching to him. Yeah. Right. You know, or, there or was no him. question. Was you know, the whole Rolls family yeah. was like that. And I, I was just, I mean, I, you know, it's, it's tough to put down now, honestly. And I'm not a big reader. So it's tough to put down because of what, how personal he gets. All right. Yeah. Are you sure? It is midnight. Yeah. Oh, please. I'm not a reader Neither, either, please. but I, I definitely. It's a really good book. I'm glad we started it regardless of. You know, I got into coaching based on this guy and what his beliefs were. Yeah, so. yeah, no, I think I think that's what's missing in a lot. And so, in one fashion, I think Tatis and the the flashy guys like Tim Anderson, those guys, it's a version of playing hungry. Whether you know, it's it's them disp- their display for the the passion and the integrity of the game. They want to. They want to give it their all, but the difference it's is just, he he didn't have the talent. Yeah, but you don't you see Tim see, An- you don't see Tim Anderson referring to his father, but you have C. No. Fernando Tatis referring to his father. Oh yeah, I mean that's a big you know, difference. Or right? Vladdy, I mean, Vladdy Jr. Exactly. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, a lot of these guys. Biggio. I mean, a lot there's of, a lot of who's next now, generation. Yeah, there's a lot of next generation guys coming sure. up right now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm totally impressed by it. Totally impressed. And I and I had a discussion with my wife about it, and she doesn't. How'd that go? She, she doesn't. You know, she doesn't. Believe like the, the fact the way it was because yeah. she took she accepted it as like that's kind of abusive or that's kind of hard you and brad started <laughs> you guys, yeah you guys started to get into because i'm a pete rose fan validity of pete, pete rose, rose getting in the hall right you know, I mean, don't don't put pete rose you guys stuff, are starting to argue don't put pete rose's stuff in the hall and not him in the hall. he made yeah. the comment today it was like woof, it was getting a little heated i love it i'm like and i like him i like him a lot yeah. i think i think he should be in the hall of fame yeah so we're going to get through the rest of this. Let's see what part two. Section two. Are you all right? Oh, Super Bowl predictions. Super Bowl. I mean. Predictions. Brady made as, as far as he's made it. Let's let him win it. No. Come on. Get after what do you it. think? KC 37. Oh, man. I can't even come up with it. Tampa Bay 31. Spread. I say 34-31 Buccaneers by field goal. 37-31. In Tampa. I think a blowout. Tampa Bay. And I agree with the one I, that I read. Tampa Bay will be up huge in the first half. They'll be up by double digits. You think Casey comes because back? Every, huh? Everything is lining up. First oh. Super Bowl by a team in their home stadium. They're the home team. So, But think about this. I'm not a Brady fan, but damn, this guy. Yeah. No, I'm. I mean, is he, he finds legitimately a way to do it. Like a, a goat. I mean, he's, I mean, I didn't believe in the whole goat talk. Like, okay, he had a system, he had yeah. players, but they'll probably throw for 130 shizzle. yards. I mean, you know? he comes into a new system, brand new teammates, new. I mean, new everything. I, I, yeah, and he's he in the freaking Super Bowl. But the, my thing is, if Good he wins, Lord. if he wins, he <laughs> needs to go. And it hasn't been a smooth transition. It was rough at first. Oh yeah, or in, oh, towards it, the middle. There areas. was a, there was a COVID practice issue, but like I, he was too excessive. I think you walk off. You've had a tremendous career. Do you think he's he ends it? I uh, think if he wins I, it. He ends I it. I personally think he should, but I don't think he will. He wants to play through forty five. He said. Yeah, but it's <laughs> two years away. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. You know that's that's a sad part. It's, it's fantastic. Is I have a hard time getting out of bed. This some bitch is a year younger than me. And he is playing at a high level, and he's in the Super Bowl. It's like, what am I doing wrong? He's damn, sucking it. He's out You'll there. You'll feel singing. better. So, so you know, got. you know what we got to you got to get in here. A Pat Mahomes rated rookie dad. I saw. Oh. I saw one. White Sox. No, nah, yeah, I don't, it was twins. Twins, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. Twins. I I saw somebody. He's like, hey, we actually I had this one, in. but I just of his yeah, da- the daddy. Yeah, really. I glazed over it. It was like somebody was, tried to bring it in. No, no, I found it in a box. I'm like, it's it's dad. Come on, anybody gonna care? Yeah, people were looking for it. Yeah, right. 
You good? So, all right. All right. Well, I guess we're too long. Is this it? That's all she Lentil wrote. Lentil soup time. Did you have a releases for this week? Yeah, we went Jersey. over at the beginning. Do we? Do we? Did we? We Dusty. did hoops. Dusty's, it it Dusty's going to J- drive Jersey's. down and get it. Jersey. Well, Jersey's coming FedEx, so that's arriving regardless. Yeah, we got it all. I'm doing, doing a rip of it tomorrow, right? though. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna rip some stuff. Yep, rip, sell, let's sell, go. sell. Let's go. Don't forget to Super Bowl like, Sunday. Subscribe. Give Share. us nasty comments. Tell us that we swear too much and too uh, long. Talk I about hope, repeat. I hope you uh, keep watching and count how many swear words we have. I just want to repeat the topic over and over. Peace. Love you.